it's man, it's freaking cold out here. The weather's getting colder, Josh. Aren't Damn you freezing? Straight. I'm freezing my balls uh, off. Yeah, I mean, I've been. I, I keep trying to find my jacket, but I can't find that shit anywhere. I need something to warm me up. Now I know we were basic uh, not too long ago, and we yeah. had scarves and UGG boots, but. Yeah. Today's different. It's freezing cold, and I want to warm up. What better to warm up than some stouts? Damn straight. You know where we can get some bomb ass stouts? Uh, I think I, I think I know a place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, here's Eli. Hey. Eli, what's up, yo? What's up, fellas? Me and D West Coast in the house. Let's Eli, go. it's freezing out here. What are we doing? We got to go get some stouts. Do you know where we can get some killer stouts? I think I know the right place for this. Yeah. Let's go, boys. <laughs> All right. Oh, look, there's Brandon too. Brandon. Oh, hey, hey, hey how's it going, guys? Hey, we're look we're looking for some stouts, bro. Like, we're, are, you want to join the mission? We got to warm up. It's cold as shit outside. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think I know Man. the place. Follow me. Here we go. What up, Jimmy? <laughs> What's up, fellas? <laughs> I knew this was the place, the Craft Lounge in Beaumont, California, where you have the most amazing selection of craft beer. And what we're looking for are some stouts. Jimmy, what kind of stouts do you have? Oh man, I have a plethora of stouts. I got some Bottle Logic. I got some. Uh... Wild Barrel. I got some. Oh my God! I got some something new from Crowns and Hops. It's fantastic. Ooh, so have, Crowns and Hops. Yeah, we got a lot of, yeah. lot of uh, stouts. Looks like you guys need them too. You guys look cold as shit right now. So. Freezing cold. It's stout season. Glass. You, you see how there. little yeah, I yeah. am? I need this. shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> gotta warm up. I think Josh is cutting glass through his shirt over here. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I already got holes in there, man. <laughs> Nipple Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I'm I love fo- it. I am follically challenged, and I don't have a beanie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I need some stouts to warm me up. Well, I'm glad oh. we're in the right place. If you guys need stouts or any other craft beer, wine, kombucha, whatever it is, Jimmy's got it. Come see him. You get it to go. Beaumont, California, just north of the 10 freeway. Also, thecraftlounge.com. Go visit him, order online, and come pick it up. Jimmy will have it for you. Like um, a refrigerator. They're about mm-hmm. six feet tall, 300 mm-hmm. pounds. Speak it, Homer. They make ice and. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, a woman is more like a beer. Beer, they you smell say? Good. They look good. You'd step over it's your own hot. mother just to get one. But you can't stop at one. You want to drink another woman? <laughs> no, I, I love it. Never. So. Never we heard a little bit of a, a commercial, a plug, an ad, if you will. It's cold as shit outside, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Beer Dad and Brew Podcast. As always, I am your hostess with the mostest, the Beer Dad, Justin Allen. And I'm joined right here by my awesome co-host, the bodacious one, the brood man, <laughs> Joshua Kunkel. Howdy how. And we are here with the craft lounge man himself, Jimmy. What's up, Jimmy? What's going on, fellas? And we have some special guests with us. So we have tons and kettles in the house, home brewing extraordinaire. Mr. Brando, what's up, brother? Hello. I am doing well. How are you? I'm very, very nice, sir. Very nice. <laughs> and Such pleasantries. I love it. I love I, it. And another special guest. <laughs> yes. We have Eli Froze, Mr. B&D oh, West yeah. Coast. What's up, bro? Woo! I'm back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guess who's Glad back? Back, <laughs> back <laughs> again. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. Well, we talked about it. It's cold as shit outside, and... We've already been hyping it on uh, the interwebs that we were going to do a stout season episode. So here we are. So that's why I had to bring the big guns out here. We got Brandon. We got that's Eli. Right. We got Jimmy. We got Josh. We're going to tear into some stouts. And Boy. let me tell you, what a lineup. Did you guys see this lineup we got yeah. going on here, guys? I, I'm thinking of calling oh, this one I the stout. I can't stop gauntlet. grinning, dude. Oh, I, just because I, I know already. It's going to get we, we We're like oh, doing our so liver good. exercises Wait. before this episode <laughs> because there's some heavy hitters here. I think I saw some 14 and a half. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing, uh, nothing below 10. It's all no, 10 and it's up. It's all right? 10 and up. Yeah. I'm yeah. hydrating with a 5%er right now. So, so. Jimmy's, Jimmy's, and we already pre game too. So, <laughs> yeah. But Jimmy needs that uh, l- lightest one by Ennegrin Brewing. You can check oh, them yeah. out. Moore oh, Park, yeah. California. Ennegrin, what's up? Fantastic. Yes. Good beer, especially as a palate cleanser between. Uh, 
all this crazy gauntlet <laughs> awesomeness. I know. I'm right now. I'm looking at Josh's face as he's staring at all these bottles <laughs> over here, and he's like, "Oh my gosh!" And he's got all the cups lined up. Looks like he's ready for some beer pong. Well, yeah, my, my liver is doing a silent scream right now. <laughs> Absolutely. You guys want to play some stout pong? Oh, oh, right? Oh, oh, God. Can you imagine? That'd be the worst game of beer pong in the history. <laughs> or, the, or the best. Though. Or the best. Yeah, either one. <laughs> You're like, but, I never make that shot. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> there are those that when they get tore up, they definitely focus a lot better. Oh, so. yeah. For sure. And then there's others that not so much. Like the drunken drunken master. Right. Oh, we got, we got, you, dude. You we got drunken that, master on in the background, Jimmy, the huge uh, kung fu movie uh, buff <clears throat> over here. Um, so that's playing in the background to keep us Actually, going through the season. This is a Shadow of the Drunken Mantis, I think this one is. Oh, See? Nice. He knows it. He's getting all those drunken animals out. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know anything about kung fu movies, you talk to Jimmy. You want to know anything about craft beers, talk to Jimmy, because, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's a compliment. Just talk to Jimmy, dude. Jimmy's, just Jimmy's lonely. Yeah. Talk to Jimmy. Jimmy's, Jimmy's in the shutdown mode right now, dude. So Jimmy's fucking lonely. So you just come by and talk to, to Jimmy. You don't have to be lonely yeah. anymore. Jimmy can't, Jimmy can't serve only. beer right now. <laughs> Jimmy can't serve beer right now. So come fucking hang out with Jimmy. It is sucks. So, you know, the pandemic, we got shut down for another three weeks. Jimmy just busted his ass to get that beer garden going. <laughs> Fuck COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, yeah. you did a great job with that beer garden. Of course, now you had to shut down again and go back to to-go beers and... And we talked about it earlier. Things will things will come back, and we're all we're well, we're all here rooting for you. We 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 love this place, and uh, yeah. uh, it'll be back. It'll yes. be back, brother. We will. We yes. will come back like bigger, the Phoenix, bigger, better, stronger. Rise, Rise, like, the Rise yes. like the Phoenix. That's what I said. I said we'll come back bigger and better than ever. I'm gonna go get a sledgehammer, knock out these walls, make this place bigger. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? We're expanding, and you didn't even <laughs> no, know it. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I already told the other guys they had two days to get out. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, this is the stout season episode, so we're going to drink some amazing stouts that a conglomeration of things that are carried here at the Craft Lounge and things that were brought together for this uh, awesome bottle share that we're about to have. Oh, yeah. uh, we're surrounded by a beautiful fireplace. We'll have some pictures up. You guys will see it at the fireplace, as well as uh, Jimmy has the most <laughs> amazing Christmas tree yeah. of all Christmas trees. This, oh, yeah. this is a work of fucking art, man. I'm, I'm not kidding. This this is just it's a beautiful. work of boredom, dude. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> well, right. like, I got 200 kegs leaning around here right now. What am I going to do with them? Did I ever tell you oh, how yeah, creative you Christmas are tree. when you're bored? <laughs> it's a beer mystery. You got it. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's, yeah, dude. let's be clear. It was the beer dad that kind of I did. I did. I, I stole the idea from Wild Barrel. Shout out to those guys. Saw it on their on their Instagram and their Facebook. And um, it, it really actually looks pretty cool. Not going to yeah. lie. No, I, I, I dig it. <laughs> I think that, uh, you know... Um, uh, it just screams like a manly Christmas tree, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, sure. Pine needles and, you know, the smell of a Christmas tree. And everything. Ah, she's oh, overrated, dude. Yeah. And we got this the smell of yeast and beer. Right. And, I was going to say in a weird roundabout way that it's kind of like pine needles because I'm sure some of these hobby beers, beers yeah, have a nice yeah, piney sure. note to them. Yeah, absolutely. Spruce. Yeah. It's a roundabout way of a... So we'll get your pine some on. pictures of that. And then, uh, again, stay tuned because then our next episode, you guys listen to this one and get all this stout awesomeness. We got our Christmas episode planned. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll decorate uh, in here. And uh, we may or may not be wearing Christmas jammies for that episode. We'll see. Yeah, yep. So, so uh, I like it. I hope so. What, Josh, said, Josh says he's got one of those classic jammies with the trap door with in the, the back. Butt flap? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, dude. He just wears it to the front, though. Oh, the front, the front, yeah. Yeah. Wears it in the front. Yeah. Yeah. Easy access, boys. Easy access. Boys. I'm going to uh, eat that after these stouts. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Run to the bathroom. Get it yeah. on. Get it on. <laughs> Every time it sucks because, like, you know, normally I look at Josh when I'm talking to him, but when I look over there and I see all those stouts, I'm like, what did I sign up for tonight? Because, <laughs> dude, that's crazy over there and of course uh, we pulled them out of the fridge you know and let them kind of warm up a little warm bit, up oh, a little bit. so up. we're gonna get all those flavors tonight so, all right what's all right. the first one that we're gonna have josh all right we're gonna start off uh, on a good note here we're gonna go with urban anomaly american stout um had a chance to try this a uh, few weeks back and shout out to you, good, so i'm looking hops. forward to trying it again yeah crowns and so hops go and, uh, yeah, shout out the crowns and hops man. get the yeah. get our killing it. asmr mm-hmm. on oh Ooh, that was a good one. For all you, uh, do it again. Do all it again. Yeah. <laughs> Audio Double curves. Tap. Make it happen one more time. <laughs> so, um, Crowns and Hops is available here at the Craft Lounge. Uh, great, great brewery. Awesome story. Um, I mean, they're just like hitting the ground running hard, aren't they, Jimmy? Like, they are. They are indeed. Really, like, an, um, done, done an amazing job um, in the heart of Los Angeles and uh, definitely, you know, opening up. Um, the craft community to that urban scene that hasn't really seen the craft community. So shout out to uh, crowns and hops. Awesome. 
awesome job and we love your beer absolutely love it um and seriously dude, this is a great way to start the show oh dude this is probably yeah. one of my favorite beers in this whole place one of my all-time yeah. Like, yeah, yeah favorite beers and uh favorite new brewery too yeah or yeah yeah, everything that they're, they're coming out with right now is pretty fantastic. All their stuff. Everything. All across Solid. the board. The, the Pilsner, their West Coast IPA, their Hazies. Like, so what is, this, what is this one called? It's the American Stout. Amer- so just uh, Urban like, Anomaly. Yeah, Urban, Urban Anomaly. Out of Inglewood, <laughs> California. <laughs> we just Holy started the show. Shit. The pregame got nights. him, baby. The pregame got him. It's been one of those nights. One of those nights already, dude. See what happens when you tell people it's... Almost your birthday, and then you do a little drinky drink, and here we are. This nah, is... dude, you're gonna do a, <laughs> you're gonna have an Eli uh, 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 Uber an e- trip, an Eli Uber trip, Eli Uber trip. Last <laughs> time I was here, I may or may not have been way too high, <laughs> and went an hour and thirty minutes. <laughs> Could not here, confirm nor deny. When I didn't mean to come here, <laughs> okay. It happens to us all. <laughs> no, dude, it doesn't happen to anybody. Look, <laughs> all you guys, okay? just you, dude. <laughs> okay, Actually, I was, just I was just telling these guys earlier uh, tonight. In my younger years, I ended up passing out in San Francisco and woke up in Vallejo. So, oh, I definitely. And that's a Bart. My first time on the Bart, <laughs> and like my first week in San Francisco, got on that thing at nine o'clock at night. Woke up at 11 o'clock at night, like, uh, (laughs) like freaking out. I don't know where I'm at. How do I get back? What do you mean? It's not going to take me back. (laughs) What do you mean? You You let me sleep on this thing? (laughs) You just have like an ice pack taped to your abdomen. Even like, like, I knew I was going here today. Like I knew it. I entered it in the Uber. Halfway through the ride, I'm like looking like, yo, am I going the right place? Like, fuck, did I do it again? Did I do it again? You're like, shit's getting a little rural. Shit's getting a little rural. Where did the, where did the tall to buildings Beaumont. go? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. All Love right, it. let's get to this stout. This Crowns one and smells hops. really good. Oh, yeah, I mean, um, this is like, get a lot of coffee. This is about as classic to the style as you're going to get. Good, nice, it like, just hits all the right notes. Baking chocolate. Get like nice dry finish, mm. a little roastiness, mm-hmm. little. Uh, How easy drinking is that stout? Oh, Amazing, six percent, a six percent awesome. American stout goes down so smooth. Oh yeah, so oh, smooth. some of that dark dark fruit flavor, mm. like Ooh. plums and maybe a little hint of cherry in there. Great job, Crowns yeah. and Hops. Amazing beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I enjoy this one thoroughly. Dean Street sessionable stout. Right, and is is people ask, is that a thing? Is there such thing as a sessionable stout? Because stouts are so heavy. Well, sure, what we're having right now, that's a sh- sessionable stout. Right. Well, I guess it depends on what part of the world you're in. This is true. If you're in thinking, Ireland where they drink the shit out of stout. Well, I was just thinking like the traditional stout out of like England, Ireland mm-hmm. is only like 4 or 5%. Right. Which, you know, in American standards, that's sessionable. Right. Whereas if you're going out like, you know, Baltic Sea... Russia, Ooh. you know, Eastern Europe, you know, where you're getting these like big, like imperial stouts, you know, eight, nine percent, sometimes higher. Just hits different. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Shout out. That was that was for the Target Practice podcast. That's one of the It is water that don't things. freeze. Right? It goes down light, but then as it sits in my mouth, I'm like, ooh. That's yeah. a stout. <laughs> That's a stout right there. I couldn't I couldn't think of a better beer to uh to start, start it off, podcast yeah. for sure. No, that was perfect. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, really, really thin, not too viscous. So yeah, you could really chug. Like if you're gonna chug a stout <laughs> to flex on someone, this would be a good one. <laughs> to, like, no. No. Look what I could do, dude. That's crazy. Like you just like roll up to the party and like, it's like watch this, go <laughs> stout <laughs> bitches. Oh, let's let's sl- slam some like, stout. Someone pulls out their little pen knife. Shotgun. Shotgun. Hey. Shotgun this stout. This is Brandon's shit right here, Yo, dude. Hey. This is shotgunnable. You know, it's speaking funny, of, I shotguns. haven't shotgunned a beer on this podcast yet. It's gonna happen. But what else is gonna happen tonight? I forgot to mention that. Oh, so not only are we doing this stoucher, I don't know if Jimmy was here when we came the up. Q-Base, with this idea. Oh Q-Base. man, what? No, no, dude, no, it's you're good. You're out. What's you're in the box? No, no, no. You're safe. It's, it's, <laughs> it's in the box. What's so, in the box? <laughs> so <laughs> while while we sample each and every one of these beers, you can touch each other. Josh is pouring a snow. king's cup of each Boobies. and one of these stouts, and Jeez. Brando's butt. gonna drink that at the end. Oh yeah, butt chug. Uh, well, are you gonna yeah. butt chug it? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Got the tubing in the back? When in Beaumont, you know. (laughs) That's right. Do as the Beaumontians do. 
Yeah. They, they like the butt stuff in Beaumont? Is that what it is? <laughs> drink, guess, drink, is drink, drink is the Beaumont <laughs> yeah. drink. If they don't now, they will later. Yeah. Yeah. It's all them cherries. We're starting a new trend. <laughs> all, cherries. all this time indoors, you know, you get experimental. You know <laughs> Next thing you know, 15 years from now, like... <laughs> Hey, you ever been to Boma? Uh, no, no. Man, not that butt chugging place. <laughs> Bum, fucking bum fuck Boma. Population, population butt five. Beaumont. Right? Just the fucking five of us. Here. <laughs> Already, this has been awesome. I think it's only going to get better. We're only 15 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Urban how, anomaly. How, how many more stouts do we have, Josh? Oh, uh, oh God. A lot. Enough. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> All right. Let's, Let's do the on. next one. So right. we're gonna we got go. crowns and hops. Oh, I'm, I'm old excited. Fifty five. So um, shout out to Idlewild Brew Pub up in Idlewild, California. Beautiful, amazing mountain town. I was just hyping it up for Eli earlier. Um, Don Put, the brewer up yeah. there, great guy. We uh, he had us uh, up there, invited us up there. We did a show with him. Yeah. Um, this is actually the beer from that show. It, it is. Yeah. yeah, I've been Ooh. sitting on it, waiting it, letting it, uh, letting it cellar. So uh, as you said on it. Yes. Where'd you say? Like, like a goose egg. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you laid a beer. Mm. You laid a beer. <laughs> now, <laughs> Josh, this is a, a little bit different uh, a bottle opening than what you just did. No yeah. bottle opener. We got a cork, boys. Oh, okay. oh shoot. I don't have my safety glasses on. Yeah. It's funny because oh. I'm used to like the bigger corks. And these That's things. what I heard. That's, That's the word on the street. She said. <laughs> That's the word on the street. Used to handling a uh, bigger cork, man. <clears throat> hey, it's not about the size of the boat. It's the motion in the ocean. All right. What about the cork, though? It's not the size of the cork. It's, the <laughs> <laughs> it's how the cork pops. <laughs> oh, we have For lost real. it already. <laughs> yeah. I think last episode, it took at least 45 minutes for us to get out of control. I know. Dude, I, I, I've i seen you handle corks better than this, Josh. Ooh, I like how, look how he cranks it. Do you see that? Crank okay, that there goes. Oh, dude, he's aiming it. Oh. oh. Oh, oh nice. well, that was lackluster. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. the, all, so, the sound all that grunting he did for a little pop. <laughs> right. wah, wah, the sound wah. creeps are way disappointed than you do. They're like, really? That's it? <laughs> yeah, they just turn, they just tuned out, dude. <laughs> that whole build up that they had right now, they were just like going to town, and then all of a sudden they're like, that's it. Yeah, they just tuned out and went to listening <laughs> to somebody eating oatmeal or some shit. <laughs> remember uh, <laughs> they slowed down? They're like, the strokes got <laughs> softer. Right? Yeah, so, yeah, no, dude, they're all fucking. <laughs> Chris, Justin, you remember that my birthday episode out at. Uh, uh, San Diego. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Savage Wood. Savage right. Wood, yeah. yeah. And I had that three liter, and we're all like building up tension for the pop. And, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> Happens sometimes. Oh, God. This is boozy. Oh, fudge. Yeah. Oh, fudge. So, like, this episode, I'm <laughs> like sitting a here drinking motor oil. <laughs> yeah, right. this water that is found here at uh, the craft lounge called Liquid Death. So, I'm now Durr. going to dub this episode. Liquid death. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we're pretty close to liquid oh death. God. By the time we get to the end of this episode, I'm pretty sure we'll be in liquid death. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was going to say liquid death is going to be the uh, <laughs> the, the patron saint of beer. You can already tell tonight. going into the second one, it's already getting more viscous <laughs> already. Like it's moving oh, a little yeah. slower Actually, and got, we're like, already just a bottle oh, down. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've already gone crazy. This one smells really I think my bad. Dad's gone crazy. All aboard. What's in this one? This one gives off like Doo-doo. a wild ale smell to it. Sorry. This one will wake you up, boys. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Hold on. I'm getting some uh, goofing around drink. Yeah, drink there. drink the beer, damn it. Oh, oh. That's what the people want to hear. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh no, please no. <laughs> Not that noise. No, never that noise. Don't oh do that. God. Don't do that ever again. This one will get you fucked up. That's yeah. a barrel aged stout, boys. Well, this will get you fucked up. That's some mountain beer there. What's our age? Yeah. <laughs> I can feel my non existent beer finally forming. <laughs> I, I can see it. <laughs> it's a, like, oh I'm a man now. <laughs> it just oh doesn't stop God. growing. The whole face is hard and fur. Like those, those werewolf people at the circus that you see with like the full. <laughs> Call floor. me Chewbacca after this. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> like straight up. Yep. Wow. Yeah, like this reminds me of all my Colorado wooks up there in like so. ten degree weather. This uh, is the type of shit you want. This right will warm here. you up for sure. It's an imperial <laughs> Dude, Russian is, stout. Yeah. He's he's reading the fine print right now to figure out what exactly the ABV is. Like he, eight point seven. Eight point seven. Seriously, oh. that's oh, that's fudge. it. Went, went, went. Yeah, that's good. This is boom, delicious boom, stuff. Yeah, yeah. that tastes really. Yeah. You, get a, you get a little bit of booziness on it, but it's not. It's yeah. not so bad. So Don, it's, Don, no, not bad at if all. you, you know, while well, a lot of the beers that you like, a lot of that traditional style, and he does a lot of Belgium styles because that's his. 
uh, mm-hmm. heritage. Um, dude, he does such an amazing job up he's there. He's from Belgium? Uh, Family. Second generation. Oh, right yeah. on. Dude. Yeah. Cool. So he's actually been there and, and, and brewed, right? He was telling yeah. us on our show, if you listen to that episode, uh, talking about how he went over there and uh, was it his uncle he was talking about that had every beer recipe in that big handwritten book? Yeah. Like, man, to just see that book and see oh, all those sure, recipes dude. would have been really cool. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, he's a great brewer and, uh, that's a really cool place up there. If you're ever in the area and you want to go up and have like a nice getaway, it's like mountain town, beautiful scenery and no, it's not commercialized. So like every, it's all mom and pop shops, nice little town to walk around, little shops and bodegas to walk into. Um, and you go to the Adwell brew pub, it's right on the Creek. So you got a nice view, uh, especially when it snows, dude, it's amazing scenery. So, dude, I love their yeah. outdoor area. It's so cool. Badass. Walk up the stairs, yeah. Big old yeah, fire, yeah. fire, fireplace. So dope. Yeah. The last two times we've gone, we've gotten there right when they open. And so we get that seat right in front of the fireplace. Mm-hmm. So it's been nice. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Shout you, out Idaho Wild Brew Pub. You yeah. guys are awesome. So yeah, this is a pretty damn good man. I'm getting like dark fruit flavors. I'm getting molasses. I'm getting yeah. It really uh, gives me like some wild ale stout vibes. Like it's mm-hmm. not as like thick or anything, but really sweet fruitiness to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit of dryness, maybe. I like, like a that. hint of maybe. I wouldn't call it Brett character, but maybe some yeah. barrel character. And we, and yeah, it was really cool because the episode that we got um, uh, to record there, and we filmed some video footage as well. Uh, he took us down to the to the cellar. Right. We got uh, to see all the barrels and, and, and touched you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He took yeah. us down to the cellar. Yeah. Yeah. He, he yeah. licked you. <laughs> Did he lick you? Yeah, he licked you. It was not a Catholic church, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say that for Jimmy. Much, yeah. <laughs> the church of beer. Much to your dismay, right? <laughs> Much to your dismay. Much to, yeah. Come on down to the cellar, boys. Uh, hey show boy. you all the beers we don't sell. But they, the, the way they <laughs> comb, comb your beard, boy. <laughs> the way they designed that freaking brewery is insane. So he's, they got the cellar downstairs, all the barrels. Um, and, uh, there's like a hidden elevator. So you know where the fireplace mm. is at? Yeah. That table, when they take the table off, there's an elevator there oh. and the ground raises to the ceiling and that's how oh. they bring everything up. Really? That's yeah. They cool. got all their grain down there, everything. Yeah. It's, it's freaking bad. Wow, that's really yeah. nice. I didn't know it was that fancy. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Pretty, pretty high tech. And then that freaking the water system wastewater, that they had yeah. just oh like God. recycles almost like all the wastewater what? and stuff. Yeah. Coming out yeah. of there. Damn, I didn't... It's insane. It's, wow, it's that's really, really insane. cool. Yeah. That's a nice, very so nice place. One of these days, if I can get all this footage put together, there's actually going to be an episode on YouTube. Uh, I've been struggling with the, with the sound on it, but I'm hoping some new software will help with that. But, uh, we got some pretty amazing footage down there, um, in, in the cellar area and all throughout the whole brewery. So, I look forward to that. But shout out again to Idlewild Brew Pub for some good beer. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Nice. This is nice. This yeah. is very nice. Yeah. It's starting to get warm already. <laughs> yeah. Same here. That's why. Getting all those flavors. Cozy. It's because Justin's arms around you, dude. Welcome to stout season. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah. That's my excuse. That's It's cuddle weather. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for your beard stout. to grow, Eli. I'm waiting too, bro. I guess I need to drink more stuff. Who <laughs> <Seriously, laughs> I was gonna say, who needs a beard when you got these beautiful dreads, man? Hey, I'm yeah, trying, yeah. baby. I'm trying. Seriously. Oh man, this is good. This, now you know Jimmy had dreads like this. that too. You know, I did. <laughs> I, tell, right? I did. Way back when? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> they were like down to my ass. You should dread your beard, dude. <clears throat> I know. That's dude. been a goal of mine, actually. If I could ever fucking grow one, I <laughs> just <laughs> want them everywhere. Dude, just, just lose <laughs> your hair. Your beard will grow. That's yeah. what happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it just kind of does one of these things. I'm kind of like that. What's that That magnetic like toy back in the day? It's like the, the guy's face, and you take like a. Was it build like, his the beard shavings? and shit. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Wooly Willy. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's what happened to me. Somebody you, just did that. You like pepper <laughs> shake your <laughs> hair on? Yeah. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so. That's absolutely great. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. We're moving along here in the stout chair. <laughs> we just finished. Uh, we had Crowds and Hops. Then we had yeah. Idlewild Brew Pub, Old 55. Yeah. Highly gonna, recommend uh, Bring it back those. home and yeah, uh, do a little home brew. Yeah, let's break in some home brew stout. So, so uh, tell us about your brew that you made, uh, Mr. Joshua. It's been a while since man. I've had a chance to bring some home brew on the show. I'm actually kind of happy to finally have Wait a minute. Last that. episode, you brought Kunkel Dunkel. You did. I did bring Kunkel Dunkel. Fucking <laughs> <That was, laughs> liar. That was a while. Liar. Was a while. It's but I'm meaning, I'm, I'm talking like in... in you know, enough homebrew that That's I can like true. bring it on yeah. multiple shows and oh. bring different beers on multiple shows. Oh, but okay. so, no, I had a chance a couple, about a month ago, you know, where it's like I had some free time finally. And so I did the Kunkel Dunkel and I also did this one, which is a coconut stout. Ooh, now, this is dude. one that I has kind of tried and true. I've done it a couple of years now and got it dialed in pretty damn well. Uh, you guys ought to tell me what you think of it. So pretty much it's your, it's a tropical stout as far as its base. 
and I pretty much dry hop it with uh, the coconut. And I, I go and buy the uh, shaved unsweetened coconut, and I toast it myself. So I toast it, throw it in during the lagering stage. Also, this one's done with the kavai yeast, and uh, usually fermented anywhere from like 90 to 105 degrees. What's the so, ABV? Uh, 9.2. Oh, let's dun, see. Dun, We're getting dun. stronger and stronger yeah. down the down the <laughs> rabbit hole. Here. Your stubble's coming in, Eli. Your getting stubble's coming in. Coming in. <laughs> I can <laughs> feel it coming <laughs> in the head of chin. <laughs> it's coming. Mike Tyson oh, uh, is rolling over in his grave right now. <laughs> yeah. he's wait, still, he's still alive. Wait, he's like, wait, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, are you serious? I'm still alive. I'm still alive, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Oh, why don't you set up, beer dad? <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> not yet, Merry not, Christmas. Not, not yet. <laughs> yeah, next episode, we'll have some Mike Tyson. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Thank you. All right. Luckily, I brought 32 ounces of this, so I can uh, give you all a little. <laughs> as, as, oh, if we, as if we needed a more stout. I can give you a loving pour of. <laughs> what do we call this a lot, what do we, what do we call Oh, yeah. Uh, so this one, through a weird roundabout way, I, I decided to call it Sloth Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird fucking day where my mind was just wandering, and I was thinking, like, man, this beer is good enough and dangerous enough to put your dick in the dirt. But I couldn't call it Dick in the Dirt <laughs> Stout. Someone might get offended. So you called it Sloth Nuts. Sloth yeah. Nuts. I was thinking, like, Sloth kind of looks like the head of a sloth looks like a coconut. Sure. I don't know where the fuck that I got that. But yeah. that's kind of where that came from. So, yeah. Sloth nuts. Sloth nuts. Sloth nuts. <laughs> yeah. Slow and low. It, believe slow me, it, it, low, was, it was a, it was slow a leap, and low. Yeah, a le- leap of the imagination. So. Dragging them to my beard grow. <laughs> Sloth nuts. I just can't. I, right? I, I'm not, you, dude, I have my loss of words. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, normally it's not very often. I assume Josh goes sloth. that way. Nah, like, he dude, doesn't that's... go low like that. But that's that's good. good hey, job, nothing Josh. goes lower than fucking sloth nuts, dude. <laughs> you know. yep. yeah, I mean, it's about as low as you can go. You drink enough yeah. of these, and you're as slow be a... and as slow as you can go. Yeah. Also, when you drink enough of these, man, you're gonna be a sloth with your dick in the dirt. So. Oh, what? I, I think that's know. where it came from. To be honest, mm, coconut. But yes. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I'm actually okay. kind of curious. I'm always looking for feedback. I want to see how to improve on this. The the horrible part about this beer, and it's not really a horrible part, is the fact that it's nine percent and it doesn't it, it just tastes like I'm drinking some like roasted coconut. Like it's ridiculous. Great job, Josh. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Chocolatey. A lot of chocolate in this yeah. Coconut runs through. Get another <laughs> mouthful here. Hold on a second. Let me, <laughs> let me take a sip. Let me fully, let me take let me a fully sip. analyze this. I, I'm just, from the smell alone, I love coconuts. So this shit right here. Mm, you like sloth nuts? Mm, this shit right here. Thank you. If you like coconuts, you're going to love sloth It's like nuts. weed when you smell it and you don't even got to smoke it and you get kind of high. That's what this <laughs> is. Like, I'm kind of drunk just smelling you. That's like endorphins or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. If you like coconuts, you're going to like sloth nuts. Ooh, I like this from the other two. The first thing I notice is the mouthfeel on this one. Super thick, viscous, nice. Okay. That's nice. Glad to hear that. I love how that coconut comes through on that. That's yeah. nice. I really do. You have that like that chocolatey backbone to it, and that fucking coconut just comes through and just says, hey, I'm right here. Now, someone once told me that this reminded me of like a liquid almond joy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so, straight nice, up. Yeah. Yeah. I have an almond joy in my mouth. I don't even like chocolate, but I'm like, I'm vibing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty damn good. So what do you think, Brando? I like it a lot. It's good. You did a fantastic job. Well, oh, thank you. Um, a lot of nice dark chocolate. It's like a mounds. I would say it's mm-hmm. like a, a mounds. mounds. Yeah. 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 Nice almond joy, mounds. Vibe. Yeah. yeah nice, uh, <clears throat> nice chocolatey it, backbone on it. I like yeah. the toasted coconut. Like I've had beers that have fresh coconut and toasted coconut. It's just a nice... Yeah, I always uh, I'm finding with my stouts and even my porters uh, for the home brewers out there, Carafa too and Black Prince. Those like two chocolate malts are just dynamo for getting like that kind of like espresso for sure, like chocolate note, like big bold chocolate note in the uh, into the beer. You know, and to the point where it's like I didn't even add chocolate to this. That's all just from the grain, right? And yeah, it definitely can. uh, Cool stuff. Beer pop. We did a great job on this homebrew. Yeah, um, that's good. That's real good right there. Joshua, I think you're <laughs> I think you're coming into your own with the stouts for sure. 
Definitely yeah. a, an amazing job. I mean, this, Thank you. This is the one, did you, I can't remember, is this one of the ones that you won some awards for? Uh, this one, no. I haven't actually entered this one yet because I'm still trying to figure out where to put it. Well, it would win awards yeah. if you sent this one in for sure. Yeah, I, I'm thinking I might have to throw this one in the uh, specialty category, which is like the catch-all, just yeah. anything goes. <laughs> which I guess in, it's kind of a weird double-edged sword with that category if you think about it because – you have to put it there because it obviously doesn't fit anywhere else. But right. at the same time, a lot of people throw their beers in that category. So if you end up went taking first, that's that's almost a prestige unto itself. I think so as well. Because it's like you beat out all these other fucking crazy ass beers. Right. The mustard beers. And yeah. Like all the, <laughs> yeah. Other, the bratwurst. The bratwurst. Yeah. Yeah. Brat beer, yeah. yeah. A, a bratten weissen. Yeah. <laughs> So, How did we go from stout season to we're all speaking German all of a sudden? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, dude, me and Jimmy, oh, there's going to be a lot of languages me, me spoken and, tonight, man. Me and Jimmy both, we, we speak <laughs> Swedish. Yeah. 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 It's usually in, in sing song, though. Yeah, sing song. We sing song. song. Yeah. Sing song. Um, sing song. Yeah. Huh? Sing song? And sing song. We're going to okay. sing the song of our people. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, people. Birkin, birkin, shikin, blarkin. Shikin, birkin, shikin, birkin. Birkin, 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 birkin. Shikin, birkin, birkin, birkin. Shikin, birkin, birkin, birkin. Shikin, birkin, birkin, birkin. <laughs> that happens all the time here at the craft lounge. It, it doesn't does. matter what song is on either. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It uh, doesn't. Yeah. No so. song is safe. Yeah, baby, come back. Shurpin, the back. Shurpin, the back. Shurpin, the back. Shurpin, the back. We're only three stouts in. Just so you guys know. Stout season is upon us, everybody. Yeah, we're only three in, baby. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. Lord. Just saying. Brandon so, came up with a genius idea to, to do a cover band yeah. that only does in the, like, sings in the style of the Swedish chef. From the Muppets. <laughs> From the Muppets, dude. Yeah. So any song that comes out is straight. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like only somebody like this guy right here would come up with something like that. Well, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know why. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, uh, I figured I'd pop on Instagram live while we're recording this episode. So shout out to everybody on Instagram. There they are. There's our Christmas tree in the background. You like that? That's, that's beautiful. Yes. Thanks for following. Also, shout out to all my Brews and Dubes VIP Facebook group members for following along. Shout out to Brandon and Keeley for putting us on. We have some of the best craft brew collectors and mulers out there in the country for sure. Love you guys. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So we're uh, the episode we're recording right now that you guys are a part of now on Instagram. Um, we uh, we're doing stout season. So let me yeah. see if you can see over here. You got all these kind of, these wells over here. Those bottles over there. Yeah. Joshua, our poor master over there. So we are having uh, some insane, insane stouts. There's Brando over What's there. So far What's we've happening? had uh, Glass Game Strong, B and hey. West Coast, and um, so far we've had. Uh, Urban Anomaly here. Urban Anomaly from Crowns and Hops yep. and yes. Old 55 from Out of Wild Brew Pub. And uh, we just popped some of Josh's home brew, yep. which is a and coconut the, the chocolate sil- stout. Silver Bullet, yeah, the coconut stout. Which is also known as Sloth. Stout Season Really Never Ends. Out of Boy Frequent Flyers, absolutely. Yep. Uh, <laughs> sloth testies or whatever. Sloth nuts is what we're drinking right now. <laughs> it's uh, a coconut chocolate stout. Did that you say sloth uh, nuts? Sloth nuts, <laughs> our boy down there, the brood man Joshua Kunkel brewed up uh, just for the uh, stout season. So, good stuff, man. Uh, what uh, what else do we have so we can let Instagram know so that they can oh, go listen to this episode when it comes out? Here. I got a little Mortalis. Mortalis there. Ooh, oh, that's sh- Zool. Doomsday. Zool, which has all the marshmallows. Yes. It's one of my favorites. Aerolage. Like, like yeah. Every marshmallow. So we got we in got the more world. T- more Look in your cabinets; they're missing. Aerolage, Aerolage, Aerolage. Aero Aero <laughs> it's definitely stout season. Oh, go down, like, what, go just, down to the Justin from Bruising Dubs. Hey. Little uh, collab with Eight Bit, uh, New Glory, and Beer Zombies. That's, well, that's, that's, really last year. that's a year old. Yeah, yeah so it's 2019. Muerto. We've been like sit on it for a little while. Yeah. Just so Uncle Muerto. So I have the new version at at home from this year, and that is from last year's. Last year's uh, yeah. release. That's it. Actually, and then we got I have Horace. This at home too. We got some Horace uh, L's. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. The uh, what is it? The okay. tickled porpoise. That what is that called? <laughs> Brando, tell us. No. Tickle my porpoise. It's called the Pacific Porpoise. It's a uh, it's a song dedicated to Hootie and the Blowfish. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Specific. <laughs> <laughs> 
How's all the baby hair? The turbans make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Been man. Been chugging stouts one way or the year. <laughs> So anyway, uh, what do you, you think know, about that, Eli? It's beautiful. I, I, I'm from Virginia, so I knew this song, yeah. and I'm oh, out yeah. here, dude. <laughs> Whoa. There's nothing wrong with a little hootie, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Hell yeah. Yep. But there's plenty of coconut in the one the, he just described. Yeah, and it sounds. I, incredible. I for one enjoy a little hootie in the blowfish. So, so I don't so know about I. you, but uh, but good it has, stuff. It has uh, a beautiful dolphin on the cover. A little uh, other half. Other ooh, that's the one that everyone's excited about. Eli brought that. Shout okay. out to my boy I'm Eli. Oh kind of yeah, thank you. I'm sort of looking at Boris. What's right ne- what's next? I mean, the end what are we of the doing? Night, we oh, got, the end uh, of the night one. That's like fifteen yeah. percent. Nic- nictophobia. But, hey, Jimmy, <laughs> another <laughs> another comment. Has anyone ever told the guy oh, to the left? Oh God, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> he looks like Captain. All Spalding. I'm saying is. <laughs> It's official clown business, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> I got him. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry uh, about it. Yeah. He, he oh, he's shit. so so. Jimmy, the, he was told that earlier, and he said he's been told that obviously a lot. Ah, oh, dude, he's for yeah. fuck, dude. Almost two years now. Yeah, I love it. He says you have a better beard though. Oh, thank you, yeah, man. Yeah, thank okay. you, because um, the beard dad likes to comb it for me. Yeah, that's right. With beer, his teeth. Beer dad with his teeth. Lot, though, <laughs> Meanwhile, beer, I haven't beer, drank beer, enough beer, stouts, beer. obviously, <laughs> with my weak ass beard over here. <laughs> no, man. It's bullshit. Eli guys. needs some more stouts, but we're, we've got plenty of stouts for you this evening, Eli. Because bring on the episode. beard, baby. We got you, man. <laughs> bring on the beard. <laughs> yes. All right. So. Um, a quick shout out for everybody on Instagram. We are here at the Craft Lounge, right? Yeah. There's Brando over there. What's happening? They got beer to go here. Uh, so go visit thecraftlounge.com. Get yourself some beer to go. Mm-hmm. Um, close for the evening tonight because we are recording a podcast. There's the uh, old recording device there. And uh, Christmas tree in full effect back there. Joshua and Jimmy. Uh, Josh, go ahead and crack that next beer that we're going all for. All right. We're going to go a little Mortalis. Oh, dude. I'm for all us mortals for out here. We love you too, frequent flyers. Oh yeah, absolutely. We got a lot of people popping on and saying what's up as we are. What what did you do? What did, Mortalis? Mortalis. This is so the, the beard uh, ad's excited uh, again. Eli, I can't tell you. Thank is, you uh, enough for Azul. bringing Mortalis because I'm really excited about this one. Seriously, the, everyone knows the beard ad loves fucking Ghostbusters. So the fact that Zool is on the bottle just. Yeah. Takes the cake for me, but also I did f- not know that, so it made this even cooler. <laughs> yeah. Woo! So there yeah. it is. Also, the fact that it's Mortalis because uh, Mortalis is not easy to come by, and um, this particular, I remember seeing people just going crazy for it. So thank you. That's, yeah, that's it's awesome. my favorite stout that they've done. I love marshmallow as an adjunct, and this one literally has every marshmallow you can think of. Dude. Big, little, colorful, not colorful. Oh, oh, even the pour, like, it dude. just looks like a fluffy, dark goodness of joy. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. Yes. I love yes. it. I love it. I'm, oh, wow. I'm excited to try it. Let me, let's oh, see what yeah. the beard ad sniffer has to so say. So this oh, one, the uh, coffee stout. So. Oh, my God. You on, smell that? On the nose, yeah. I get a lot of uh, like, like, nice, yeah. like, like when you open up a fresh bag of coffee. I'm not really a big coffee drinker, but, like, yeah, I just open up a bag of coffee and just sniff it. That's, this is exactly what I get from it. Ooh. Yeah, see, I get Ooh. some of that lacto. We are yeah. definitely in stout season for sure, man. We are getting, <laughs> we're getting, we're getting lit over here. Lit like that Christmas tree. Yeah, that isn't a tree. Yeah, beautiful. It's a beautiful Christmas tree. keg. It's, a it's Christmas not a tree. Yeah. Are a, you sure, Brandon? It's a Christmas keg. It's a falling it's, hazard. It's yeah. Wait, what did what did you call it, Eli? You called it the the beer, the beer mystery. Yeah. It's the beer mystery. Yeah. I oh, like it. Beer, the beer mystery. mystery. Oh, beer mystery. Was that beer mystery? You said? Beer mystery. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beer mystery. Yeah. Beer mystery. Like yeah. beer mystery. Like I like it. Like wow. mystery machine. Mm-hmm. So that, that beer's a trip. All right. Frequent flyers. It's going to turn it in for the yeah. night. He's got a big shift tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot. You're, you're, hey, you're looking like I'm looking in a mirror right like we now. Be it, safe yeah. out there, brother. Be safe. Yo. What? Yeah. Shout out to yeah. that dude because he's uh, working in EMS, keeping everybody ha- healthy and transporting him hey speed, if speed. everyone on the instagram live following right now could wish uh beer dad over here a happy birthday because this episode is for oh, him yes. so <laughs> happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday Justin. Beer Justin. Dad. let's go <laughs> Woo! happy birthday mr beer dad happy birthday <laughs> to, to you yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> rubs, oh nip- rubs nipples. <laughs> he rubs nipples. <laughs> For those who can't <laughs> see. <it's home. laughs> so, yeah, thank you. you are putting on an awesome podcast. I'm stoked you brought awesome people together Seriously. for this one. Absolutely. And I'm really stoked to keep this Stouch episode oh, yeah. going. Okay, so, thank uh, you for having I'm us. Gonna, I'm just going to come out Cheers, and say it because uh, Brandon's got the same look I do on my face, which is yeah, like, yeah, like, what? What the fuck? <laughs> what the f- yeah. But in a good way. In a what, good the, way. Like, what the fudge and fudge? I'll do it on yeah, the yeah. camera because you guys already did. I haven't taken a sip. I'm going to do it. This is my like, first Mortalis Stout uh, Zool. This is a this is Zool. a crazy crazy fucking beer, but I like it. Yeah, was Zool the key, gatekeeper the hell? or the keymaster? Right, I dude, no joke. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? No joke. What, what the this fuck tastes is like, that? and I, I see if it does for me. It tastes like I literally just took that marshmallow off of the freaking s'more thing, and and I bit into it right off. Yeah, of the fire. that burnt marshmallow. Okay. Dude, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that I, what you get? I got peeps, man. I got peeps. peeps. You got peeps. I, yeah, I, I get I got that the, burnt marshmallow. Yeah, I got the burnt part of the marshmallow. Yeah. Just the burnt, that that burnt, toasted, part. That yeah. toasted yeah. marshmallow goodness. Oh, I, I got that like like diabetic, like coma <laughs> sugary, <laughs> like peep. <laughs> fucking this gnarly. This sugar water, yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let me see that bottle. I'm going to show everybody on Instagram this bottle. Yeah, that actually what pretty, you can do with it? Or? Pretty awesome okay. logo, man. <laughs> what am I going to do with it? <laughs> it is. show everybody what I can do with this bottle. We are celebrating my birthday, so... Anyways, there it is. There's Zool. See that? Got the demon dog from Ghostbusters. Now, is that the gate master? Or the, or the key master. Key, key master, master or the gatekeeper? Key, I don't know which one this one is. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Maybe anyone on Instagram could tell me. Is that the key master or the gatekeeper? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I actually served uh, Gozer the Gozerian. Gozer the Gozerian. That's right, dude. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Are you the gatekeeper? No, I'm the sloth balls. <laughs> I forgot. We they call drank, me sloth balls. We, we, we sloth drank balls. some sloth balls earlier. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. Mr. Sloth Ball. Bruising dubes. Is Bring me some stuff. <laughs> are they? Oh, we got, a, we got a bruising dubes. Oh, there they are. What up, yo? Bruising dubes. dubes is Bruce in the and building and peeping our live video. Hello, Brandon and Keely. We love you guys. Let's... Uh, Let's do this real quick. Let's see. I know Brandon's shy, but we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll see if he'll join. We'll see if he'll if he'll pop on here. Is that me? I'm not shy. I know. I'm not shy. He's getting <laughs> naked as we speak. Ah, uh, he declined. He declined. Oh, it. He was girl. like, "I'm not doing it. I'm not oh, doing boo. it." <laughs> he said, "Nope. He's like, He's not like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Not today." Damn, Thanks, that brother. was quick. He's gonna text me. <laughs> He's so He's quick all, with it. Hey, no, He's so hey, it's all good though. He's I've all, been... dude. I'm on the shitter. Yeah. I can't answer right now. I'm on the shitter <laughs> hey, right now. You ain't I, getting me like that. <laughs> I've been trying to get Brandon to come on the show, and, and, and it's it's a work in progress. We'll get him on, Eli, right? We'll get <laughs> we're, him on. We're going to get you, dog. We're going to get you. <laughs> so, I can't answer right now, dude. I'm on the shitter, dude. Fuck. All right. Well, this is probably one of the, and I'm not going to lie, this is one of the most ridiculous stouts I've ever it's had. Literally, yeah. I, it was my last bottle, and you told me you had never tried Mortalis. So I was like looking at three bottles, like, oh, which one do I do? And this is literally my favorite stout that they've done. I'm sure they've done like, Better or Thank others, you, depending, but like I love marshmallow. It's like my favorite adjunct you can say, add to dude, a beer. It's so man. wild, like it, yeah. it comes just, out so nice. It fluffins that shit up. It, it makes it sweet. It's oil. like and that it, coffee gives it a nice balance. Yeah, too. it pops with like this foamy like presence. Like, like we're really interesting. Now that like, I'm drinking it, this it, stout, it I'm like gonna wake up either. tomorrow. I'm gonna make a coffee. And I'm gonna melt a marshmallow in oh, that you shit. Assume like you're going it's to hot sleep chocolate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he's assuming. <laughs> you assume you're going to sleep tonight, Eli. <laughs> Welcome to Beaumont. <laughs> yeah, where we do butt stuff. What? Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? Oh, sloth nuts. That was sloth on video, nuts. Brandon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You've now been officially documented. Okay. Talking about butt stuff in Beaumont. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, cool. uh, Instagram. <laughs> Time to get really real. <laughs> yeah, let's get real. We are, again, we're recording real, uh, an episode of the Beard Adam Brew podcast, so thank you for joining us. Appreciate all the happy birthday messages everyone's uh, putting on here. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's been it's been good so far. We're, are we even halfway there, Josh? I don't think <laughs> uh, we are. Dude. No, we're not. No, no, we're, not. We're, not. Oh, we're about ready no. to cross that line. Especially when you think there. about the last bottle, oh, it's probably dude. like three bottles of stouts in one. So we got a long ways to go, baby. We started low on the ABV, and we've steadily gone up and up and up and up and up. And, uh, yeah. But this Mortalis Stout again, Eli, dude, crazy shout out, bro. That was... 
What up, Joey Cakes? Yes, thank you for bringing that, man. That was Joey nice. Cakes. Yeah, Joey Cakes. There, yeah. Aww. <laughs> wow. Dude, seriously, it tastes like a freaking <laughs> marshmallow right off the freaking, like, I just got it on my stick. I got it all nice and crispy. Wait, what? Just... Why are you talking about your stick, bro? I know. Why are you putting your stick in there, dude? Come on, bro. You're sloth nuts, too? Is that, does that get you excited, Brando, when you hear about the Beer Dad stick? Uh, Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least somebody gets excited. <laughs> the beer wife already turned this shit off a long time she ago. Dude. Shut it the beer down. wife was like, that stick is yeah, yeah, yeah. old news. It's yeah, old news. <laughs> Shut that shit down a long time ago. I ain't seen that stick in months. <laughs> so we hope you love our Christmas tree at the Craft Lounge. That was uh, the beer dad's doing there. Uh, Jimmy grabbed the Christmas lights off the top of the uh, cooler, and uh, it's looking good. Still got some more decorating to do. But, yeah, it took uh, about five minutes for us to do that. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually already it kind of shows. Man. It kind of shows, though. That's been, how we decorate. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, been, it's actually been there year, year, year round. round. Yeah, yeah, like, I ran into that thing like five times this, this week. For sure. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, awesome. What up, Muñecas? Congrats for making it oh, look easy. Yeah. Muñecas. What's up to Hugo and Ceci? What's uh, up, what up, yo? What's up, primo? Prima? Mm. Yo, this Hugo. Is, let's go get some style. Tommies. Let's, all right. Well, right before we end our Instagram live feed, and we're still recording the episode. I got to say bye to Joey Cakes. Say, say bye to Joey Cakes. Bye, Joey, go, Cakes. bye Joey Cakes. Uh, bye, Joey Cakes. <laughs> uh, Josh, what are you cracking next? That's Arrow Lodge, ain't it? Arrow Lodge. Oh, fudge. Doomsday. Fucking doomsday. I love that fucking dude. can, dude. It's got oh, Dr. Yeah. Doom on there. Fuck yeah. A little uh, beer zombie. Little beer zombie, Action. Dr. Doom. Yeah. Beer That's actually fucking dope, dude. It That's is a fucking dope. dope. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm excited for this one, too. This is good. So we're going to still get into it. You guys can see all those bottles over there. we still got to get into. So <laughs> stay tuned for uh, this episode of Stout Season. It should be dropping within the next couple days. Um. Yeah, we're 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 already there, and we've got a lot more work to do. So, shout out to Instagram cool. Live. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. Uh, Beer Dad, the Brood Man down there. Jimmy, the Craft Lounge, Beaumont, California. Glass Game Strong, B and D West Coast. Eli Froze and Tons hey. and Kettles Home Brewing. Thank you guys for following. Yeah. We appreciate Thanks, it Absolutely. and support your local craft beer company. Oh yes. yeah, for COVID sure. is whooping all of our asses. All yep. of our asses. Yep. So please, Every the cheek. more you buy Support. to go, you share your beers with friends, you order online, do what you got to do. Please keep supporting your local breweries. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Thank you for taking Yep. And support this guy right here at the Craft Lounge, Beaumont, California. Get some beer to go. Music. Yes. All week long, he's here uh, oh, till I will what? Say 8 o'clock every night, right? 8 o'clock. The Craft yeah. Lounge did just start an uh, online store, web store, whatever you want to call it, beer to go online. The if Craft you Lounge. Dot com. Yes. Peep that. Craft it's looking beer. mighty beer. good. Beer. If you're local right. to Cali, you should peep that. Some fire bottle logics, some amazing California wild ales. He just got some of the newer ones in. Yo, peep it. Yeah. It's a beautiful beer site. thug Let's life. Go. We just got all the new beer thug life beers. That's right. Yeah, That's check right. it out. You had beer thug life here. For so sure. Definitely yeah. check out the craft lounge. Support my boy Jimmy. Uh, come on down, get some beer to go. This whole shenanigans will be over soon, and we'll all get through it together. <laughs> support craft beer, support local, yes. support small business. We're going to get back to the stouts. Thanks for joining us. The Beer yeah. Dad, the Brood Man, deuces. Cheers. So, by the way, guys, a little bit of congrats are in order. We're at the halfway point. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm glad the Zool was like the halfway. That was a nice little yep. woo. So we're just crossing that, that threshold. So good street. Mm. So we're halfway there. Yeah. I feel like Bon Jovi. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Had to throw that in. You're not doing it right. No? <laughs> Sherb and derb. Sherb and derb. Oh. Swedish chef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I love Sorry, it. I love it. Thank you, Brando. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. So, Josh, what are you cracking next? All right. So, I just cracked the uh, Doomsday. Sweet. This is a uh, Arrow Lodge, and I'm guessing collaboration. Yep, that was right. Beer Zombies, and Arrow Lodge. Thing smells delicious. I got them all poured out here, Jimmy. If you want to, oh, thank you, sir. Some of thank those you, down. All right, Arrow Lodge with Doctor. Oh my God, look at the color! It's like an orange hue to the outside. <laughs> yeah, dude, I see that's cool, like toffee. Mm-hmm. Nice. What is this one called? This one is uh, Doomsday. 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 This is the uh, beer zombie collab. Yeah, 
Okay. Terror Lodge and Beer Zombie. So you want a hand? This is good. Oh, dude. I don't know how we're going to top that Mortalis. I really don't. Yeah, that one. Uh, that we shall the... see. There, there are some things. There are some things coming I up. I still can't get I, over how they nailed the flavor of the freaking yeah. roasted marshmallow. Right? It's dumb. <laughs> like, it's like, it's dumb. I tried it and I was like, that's a stout. It's what put me mm. on the stouts. I tried that Zool and I was like, oh, mm. I can drink these. That's cool. Hmm. Do you guys all remember your first, like, favorite stout? This is a cool question. Yeah, right? mine was I the Zool. Zool. I didn't get into craft brewery until February, oh. honestly. So oh, I've awesome. been going with the swiftness. Dude, <laughs> like, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome. And you're coming at a, a fucking a crazy, swiftness. gnarly time. Like, it's crazy. There's a lot of crazy stuff going Dude, on. Dude, it's insane. There's a, yeah, there's a lot going it's on. Insane. Man. So welcome. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. All Cheers right, so that, that was Cheers. your that was your first one, Brandon. What was the first uh, stout that got you? Um, you know, to be honest with you, I think Guinness Guinness uh, Guinness Dry okay. Irish Stout was the first stout that introduced me into the world of stouts. Okay. So I, I I would say uh, for myself, the beer dad, I'm I'm the same. That was probably the first stout that I've ever had, and I love Guinness. Um, it's one of my favorite. Like, just you go to a, a pub and boom, get a Guinness. Mm-hmm. Um, but then stout wise, that really got me into craft beer and I've talked about it before was the belching beaver, peanut butter milk stout. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Uh, craft wise. Yeah. I, I, I think maybe same for, for yeah. myself. Yeah. That really, that, that beer transcended into like, like we talked about it before bringing people in that didn't normally like beer. Yeah. Uh, just because of the flavor profile on it with the peanut butter and being a milk stout, it was a little easier drinking and just, I was like. Holy shit, dude! They got beers out there like this. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's cool. I remember yeah. actually me and my friend Paul. We actually walked down the street. There's a the liquor store down the street. We uh, picked up. There's two that were released at the same time. Well, yeah, around the same time. Yeah. Uh, Beaver's Milk, which is their original milk That's style, right. and a lot of people don't remember that one. Right. But Beaver's Milk and then peanut butter milk style. Yes. We yeah. both bought you know one of each and tried it, and the peanut butter just fucking blew everything out of the oh, water. Dude, dude. like stupid. damn, this shit yeah. fucking nuts. Stupid. Yeah. yeah. Belching oh. Beaver did a great job with that stuff. What about you, Josh? Mm-hmm. Josh. I've actually been pondering this one because I'm in kind of consensus here. Guinness was kind of like the OG right totally there. Totally, dude. Like yeah. the gateway into. Yeah. Uh, but beyond that, stout. As weird as it sounds, it wasn't a stout per se that probably got me into it, but it was a porter. Oh, okay. And that was uh, Anchor's Porter. Dude, Anchor's Porter is awesome. Yeah. That one was probably like my gateway into like the craft, you know. Totally. Because. Um, I mean, it wasn't until later on I found that historically porter and stout are actually kind of the same deal. Right. Like they're it's, the same it's thing. Like, it's kind of like amber and red. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I think I mentioned this on another episode early on. The Beer Bible picked it up uh, earlier this year. Great fucking book if you guys check it out. The guy definitely did his research. And I would like to check it uh, out. It talks about sure. some pretty cool shit. But one of the things he mentions is like if you look at the original like dark beers like porter and stout – it actually porter was the original beer. It's like one of the like the first even styles of beer out there was a porter because back in the day when they were you know boiling this kettle they were stoking it with like logs and that smoke you know would get in there. Not to mention the grains that they made they would like kind of kiln the grains but mm-hmm. they weren't very precise with it. So all the kiln grains were basically dark. <laughs> nice. You know so that's where you get this like dark viscous nice. you know kind of beer going on. That's cool. So that the original beers that. were porter. But all these companies started kind of competing with each other, and they started making a stout porter, you know, like a, nice. a more robust, bigger sure. porter. And everyone was like, well, I got the stoutest porter. I got the you know, most robust porter. And that's how the style evolved. So eventually that's cool. they did so much of it that people said, screw it. We're just going to split them up and make them distinguish styles where right. you have porter and then stout. Yeah. Dude, you know? that's super cool. So. I love it when uh, the brood man <laughs> drops the beer knowledge <laughs> right. because – Wow. Thank also, you, sir. <laughs> also, also with Porter, uh, it, all you uh, prospect uh, Cicerones, uh, when you take the uh, the pre-test for the uh, – Yeah. Or it's like it's like the pre-material for uh, Cicerone. They actually give you a lot of knowledge about Porter. Porter. That's the first – like that's the entry level yeah. like information nice. they give you, which is really cool. So if you guys are all interested in and, uh, checking that out, becoming Cicerones. And, yeah. I see that all. See that all. This one smells so good, good as well. Yeah. Another. This one's really got a nice coffee nice. note too. Yeah, it. totally. I, I really like the coffee stouts. Maybe because I drink coffee every morning, so right. the nose is really rich. But ooh. Mm. it's crazy. I don't really drink coffee, but well, I don't. But 
You drink that. The cool thing about this is that it just reminds me of like just OG black coffee. Like you just pour a random pot of black coffee, just like throw it into secondary. That's how I feel like <laughs> like it's done. Those like, are some of my favorites though, dude. That me too. Hardcore coffee. It just reminds you of like when you're a kid, when you're like eight years old and having your first I cup can of smell coffee. It. Yeah, <laughs> right. I was gonna yeah. say I don't think you and me the have the same part experience. Of waking <laughs> up is yeah. this out in your cup. That's right. <laughs> Red, I don't think you and me have the same experience with coffee at eight years old. I mean. I think it was terrorized. Oh my God. Was yours was yours Irish? <laughs> was yours Irish? Yeah. No, <laughs> did, did, coffee? You, did the like, coffee put some lotion coffee? on the skin or what? Yeah. Like, what my happened? psychotic but loving grandfather said, here, hun, he he said, I used, coffee. Uh, <laughs> I used to have to go and pick the beans myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, scarred for life. Like, uh, yeah. My hands. father used to send me to the field. <laughs> <laughs> I had to grind the beans. <laughs> yeah. I with these <laughs> hands. With <laughs> my toes. This is why I brew coffee now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I fucking hate coffee. <laughs> so fuck you guys, Josh. Come back. And Josh, we're off of coffee now. Josh, come back. <laughs> Josh, you come back. You can blame it. Kind of in full circle, oh, Jimmy. Uh, what was the stout that got you in the stouts? Um, fuck, dude. He's like, I have a craft line. What the uh, fuck? Like, you know how many oh, stouts okay, I so drink? <laughs> I would, I would definitely say Guinness. I would definitely say Guinness, Guinness and that is, is because you might think I'm older than most of you guys here, right? Like. A Just lot. a little bit. Yeah. I mean, today is when I was in the, when birthday. I was in the military. When I was in the military, about twenty years old, I was down in um, Curacao, and that's the first time I had a Guinness Stout, and um, I was like, "Holy shit, what is this? This is, I've I mean, yeah. at twenty years old, all you've had is like for me back then because craft like, wasn't everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> craft wasn't it. It wasn't you know anything like it is now. Budweiser, Coors, yep. Miller. That's all we had. That's all I had. Especially when you go out overseas and shit like that, and you start seeing like you know like Cerveza Panama and fucking you know Red Stripe and, yeah. and shit like that. Sing Dao. Sing Dao. Yeah, exactly. You start seeing that shit. But when I had that Guinness down there in um, Curacao, I was like, wow, this is a whole new ball game. Yeah. And I, I brought it back with me. And that actually started me um, on a path to like more traditional styles. Like yeah. ESBs and Browns and more pub ales and stuff like that. It was with a stout. It opened your eyes. It did. It did. Yeah. It did. Yeah. I, I feel like stouts definitely are that transcending beer that, you know, there are the people like the everyday stout, stout drinkers are like me. And it's kind of my favorite genre. I know you guys don't think I like sours the best, but <clears throat> that's a new thing for me. Uh, but I always revert back to my, to my stouts. And um, I feel like when you have something like Guinness for the first time, you're like, because you think, oh, stouts are just, I mean, some of them that we have, they're just yeah. super viscous. They're 14, 15 percent. You're like, oh, man, you got to be a real stout drinker to drink them. Not Guinness. No, Guinness yeah. is like a four and a half or something. Like I, I, I always love it, though, when people who maybe aren't, you know, big on the craft beer and they drink Guinness and they're like, I don't like Guinness. It's too viscous. It's too, yes. th- it's too thick. What? And I'm just like, you obviously haven't had a, <laughs> you're not big on stouts, <laughs> are you? Because <laughs> I was like. Guinness is like one of the thinnest body it beers. Is. And it's there. a lighter beer. I mean, what's the ABV on this? Like four <laughs> point yeah, four eight. Four, like yeah, four and a half, four two. Oh, actually, <laughs> a Guinness uh, Guinness's ABV depends on where you're at in the world. Oh, really? Yeah, because uh, in traditional Ireland, it's like four point two. Uh-huh. Whereas I think everywhere else is like four point five. Because in Ireland, they the taxation on the beer is uh, based on the alcohol content. This motherfucker reads too much. <laughs> Josh reads entirely too fucking much, but that's yeah. awesome that you know that yeah. though, dude. I'm just like he is okay. a librarian. He is, dude. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, so if you get Guinness in Ireland, it's probably going to be lower ABV than say you know. Is that work for sales tax too? So if I order a Guinness and add, ask them to add water to it, my cost would go down or something. I don't know. Yeah, just, like, could, you blend, could you blend the two together? Yeah, can you blend it? I want to get my ABV down yeah. to like three point five. So I only yeah. got like six bucks on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, so Smart on Guinness. So. Yeah. so Aero Lodge, Beer Zombies, Collab. Yes. Nuts. Yeah. Doomsday. Doomsday. What do you think? Uh, I'm liking it. I mean, I'm not a big coffee guy, but this one's blended pretty damn well. I mean, I was able to throw this one back, no problem. Get a nice little, like, almost berry mm-hmm. note there from the even the coffee almost. Yeah. I want to say a nice little yeah. vanilla coverage, too. Yeah. Kind of yeah. rounded all vanilla. Out. Yeah. Maybe car- a little brown caramel. sugar. It's caramel. That's caramel, caramel on there? Yeah. Caramel. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you look at the head, you got a nice caramel color. Mm-hmm. Oh, the head was beautiful when we poured yeah, it right now. Right. Dude. Yeah, that. vanilla caramel. Everybody coffee. loves good head, right? Yep. Two right. shoes. Yeah, I can argue. <laughs> really rich. You said it. Really rich. Rich. Very. I right, look. Look how it coats the glass. The cups. Yeah. Too. That is. Look at that shit. That is wonderful. Yes. Yes, it is. 
I'm like drinking them slower and slower. <laughs> dude, I know. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Jeez. Hey, man. It's okay. Oh, We're only halfway. <laughs> <laughs> only halfway, guys. And there's still some left in the other bottles. So we got to come back. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> how's that How's that cup for Brandon looking so far, Josh? So far, so good. Just oh, is that nice. the King's Cup? You're doing the King's Cup, dude? Hell yeah, boy. Oh, man. That's I'm, a QV of QVs. Right dude, there, I'm ready, oh, yeah. dude. Honestly, I know you are, dude. I'm just like curious. I'll split it with you, dude. So far, the no, flavor the flavor profiles. Me. <laughs> the flavor <laughs> profiles that we've gotten so far <laughs> mixed together. I'm just like, man, that's going to be crazy. Right? I'm really intrigued. I might take a sip just to know what it's going to be like. Yeah, it's going to be like one of those boxes of C's yeah. candies. Like if you mix them all together. <laughs> right? right? Yeah, I love, suicide okay. of stout. Okay, exactly. by the way, I love C's candy. Dude. I'm so glad you brought it up. Ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I was just talking about lemon anyway. truffles the other day and a scotch uh, mallows. Those oh. are my two scotch favorites mallows for sure, the dude. Do you, do you like um, the uh, orange cream I do. ones that the mother-in-law brought me some the other day? The so strawberry dude. ones. The beer mother-in-law? The strawberry truffles are really cool. They only come out like around like Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Those are fantastic. Have you ever had the, the, the jelly ones? So I, it's like it's a stick so. and it's got like a gummy jelly fruit flavor and then chocolate on the outside. Oh, no, I haven't had that one. Stupid. Yeah. I like the peanut brittle bars, like the peanut brittle, like chocolate covered ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are those are nuts. Oh, I see what Josh is pouring. Sloth. What is this? Brandon's excited. <gasps> oh, dude. Look at his face. Did you see it? He's like, he was like my my son whenever you turn on like Buzz Lightyear. This he goes, one oh. smells. Dude, like, <laughs> dude but, okay. Wait, we we tried this. Going? Me and Jimmy it's tried it. this one last oh, night. Okay. Dude, shout out to Creative Creature and Electric, Electric Brewing. Yes, this one is. Seriously nuts. Yeah. Date, medjool dates, banana, and peanut butter. Nice. Uh, wow. Nitro. On nitro, Stout. Yeah. yeah. So creative creature, Did creative say? creative creature down in El Cajones, California, San Diego. Nice. Um, My nose doesn't even know what to do with this. No, it's like, is this safe? There's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> of, co- of course, <laughs> it is. Fuck is. <laughs> and also, you got uh, medical uh, professionals here, right? You've got <laughs> medical so professionals. Electric yeah. Brewing collab oh, with that's creative, creative yeah. creature. So yeah. good. Yeah. Bananas like coming through big, dude, big real big. It's yeah. like real. So it's big. funny because we tried this last night. The banana, like, and, and Nico said this too, is banana on the nose, but it's yeah. kind of faint. the The date, like the sugar, you know, kind of profile. Of yeah, date, right. Kind of hundred over, hundred yeah. percent wow. over. You get that banana it, yeah, right? really fast, and then that date's like. Whoosh. Right. That's crazy. It was yeah. like I tasted the banana at the very first second it hit my lips, <laughs> and then that date just went, ooh. Your nose is doing all the work. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It- I'm not even getting any of the peanut butter, though. That's, no, that's no I didn't like really get the banana peanut butter. The date just said, yeah. nah, The date just slammed. <laughs> Which is crazy to me because peanut butter usually comes out so Dominates, strong. Dominates, yeah. So that's wild. That's really <laughs> wild. Peanut butter has finally met its match. That is. A date really is a insane flavor. Yeah. Slayer of date Slayer. Date. <laughs> wow. Actually, date's a pretty fun one to work with. I'm not, no. I did a... Uh, that, well, you tried it, didn't you? Yeah, you it did the a Mexican, Mexican uh, lager with dates in it, Yeah, right? Yeah. So I oh, did the cool. amber Mexican lager, and I threw some dates in there. Man, that actually came out really good. So this is like kind of in the same vein as that. So. This tastes like the bottom of the date shake. That you get out, <laughs> yeah, out there in the desert, yeah. right? Dude, I love date shakes, and I love the the ones with peanut butter and bananas. So that's why I was so stoked on this beer. This is crazy. For so. Good job, Creative Creature and Electric Brewing, for getting together and putting something out like this. Totally different. Oh, yeah. Um, Good stuff. Something different. Uh, electric, um, you know, I've, they've dabbled in stouts here and there, but, you know, they're mostly known for their IPAs. <clears throat> and and um, did, we, did we talk about the ABV on this yet? No, we did not. What is the ABV on this? <laughs> you really want to know? I don't want to know. Time to go night night. <laughs> you ever go night night? Twelve percent. Twelve percent. Yeah. Damn. So we've stepped above the That's tens. We stepped above the tens. <laughs> we're now we're at twelves. That's all you got. You That's know? You got. No, you see those wells. <laughs> yeah. You see those wells sitting over oh, there. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Dude, I don't even know. I'm ready, dude. I don't know about you guys, but okay. I'm like ready I'm to roll. It. I'm man. feeling it, dude. Let's do this. Yeah. So I know earlier, Brandon, you were talking about C's candy. Right. Here's something for a potential, like, down the road couple's goal. My dad shaved half his mustache off for a box of C's candy. That's oh, badass. My mom, my mom dared him. Wait, the middle or no, just like one, one side? The right side or yeah. the left? Yeah. 
that. Yeah, he left. <clears throat> Did he walk in circles after that? No, he went out in public for like. Okay. Her, the, the dare was to shave like half your mustache and walk around town, go out in town for a day. Wait for and, a box? Is he scanning? You could just buy one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's crazy. <laughs> Josh didn't he have could. an answer, dude. Josh no, was like, uh, he could have, but I think I think it was just something for it's fun. It's romantic. It was for love. It's yeah. romantic. It was all love. It's like, did your dad you, have any friends? Why did he you, do that? She loves you. <laughs> did no I, one tell him to go buy those? What, <laughs> <Pervere. Yeah. laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> actually, uh, if you, if you knew oh, the guy, you would know that that was actually quite outside his comfort zone. So I had to give him props for that. Please, please, please. We've lost our minds oh, here. Dude, this one's going. On the, this mean, one's going wild. This, this, we're we're this only an hour that, in, guys. This only is the guy hour. that made an army yeah. recruiter cry. So, yeah. cooter what? Army recruiter? Oh, cry. <laughs> army. Yeah, yeah. So that gives you an idea of his character. <laughs> well, it, is, it is army. What? It is army. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, he was yeah. marine and army, but oh, right on. Oh, right on. Shit, yeah. that's nice. 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 Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, good stuff. I can't get good over stuff. the the flavor, like with yeah. the banana and the the di <laughs> a stupid flavor. No, really, yeah. From the Zool to this, that was really like a load of flavor in my mouth for a stout yeah. too to have those flavors shine. And and oh, Brandon, man. you're getting those mixed together, buddy. Yeah, I'm actually. <laughs> You know, know. you know what's going to be the most interesting part of this is like which of these, all of these, which is going to she's going to dominate. Yeah, right. Yeah. Dominate. After she, drinking all these beers, like what flavor is going to be prominent? Me and Jimmy are actually going to share. I, I'll take the first drink <laughs> and I'll do that. You know, purveyor yeah, vibes. I'll, I'll be the purveyor. So, of vibes. are you going to fall asleep here by the fireplace, or are you going to make it over? Yeah, I've been asleep for the last seven minutes. What you didn't know? <laughs> Me, all right? Oh, dude, I'm just going to dissolve, dissolve into the. All right, what's next, universe? Joshua? All right, we're now going into uh, upper stratosphere territory here. <gasps> uh oh, and we're going to break out a was it one year cellared nunca muerto? Yes, that's correct. So nothing dead. Oh, nice little, uh, that was so nice. Nice little ant fart there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's going to be one of your next beers, dude. You got sloth ant balls <laughs> and ant fart. Ant fart and the birds. It's going to be some fucking dank ass West Coast fucking IPA, dude. I just, ant fart. I can, see, I can just see some old lady walking up to like a brewery counter and she's like, uh, yeah, let me get, my, let me get an ant fart. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think my husband's going to go with sloth like, balls. <laughs> Actually, Good choice, ma'am. It is kind of funny you mention that, Brandon, because I debuted the Sloth Nuts at a uh, festival a couple years back, and this lady came back eight times for that fucking beer. Really? She just likes saying Sloth she just Nuts. Like, I was gonna say, she's like, I got to go back to that place is so there, I can say Sloth Nuts. Is there caramel in this one, too? And she got all messed up. She's all Noth Sluts. Yeah. And Nunca? Um, I, I know it's he brewed. Got one. Yeah, I, he got yeah. one. Okay, cool. I know, is there I, caramel in this one? <laughs> I, I know so, that the, this one concha. they use yeah they use concha yeah, in the, the, concha. You know, the concha. Mexican pastry. I'm noticing with this pour as well, it did the exact same, the same color type of viscosity and color. Yeah, yeah, when you spin it around, it just straight dyes the glass. <laughs> it coats. Yeah, it coats like a oh. ant for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, let me get a couple of like an ant for it. <laughs> I think we're gonna make an ant fart T-shirt and sell it on the website. Oh, dude, ant sloth fart or nuts. sloth nuts, dude. Yeah, sloth nuts. Beer and dad and ant farts. Let's go. You were all listening to the beer dad and ant fart yeah. <laughs> podcast. Does, uh, does an ant shit in the woods? That's the question. Yeah. Do they? Does an ant shit? That's a good. <laughs> even better. Yeah, do they I, fart? I think like, just, like, <laughs> the fact that you guys are questioning the whole shit, do they even do they, fart? It, it, just opened no. up Pandora's box. It, it, like, it, it's it, nice it, to know it, that we've reached the philosophical part of the yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is there Someone's going to like Instagram like, message you guys. I found this on Wikipedia, <laughs> actually. Does an ant shit in the woods? Oh, he ant uh, spark uh, beer on looking up. The beer dad's looking up right now. Does an ant shit. Do ant shit? Holding with bated breath. The awkward silence before. It's perfect. Because it says that the question, do ants fart? And a scientific answer, of course they do. But it says it makes sense. Ants, it makes sense. And it says some of the most effective, or no, it says ants don't fart. They can't pass gas. So effective ant killers cause them to bloat up because they have. 
no way to pass the gas, and they literally explode. Whoa. So they do, not, they do not fart. Dude, that sucks. That's so like a seagull with alka So dude. when you're spraying right? ants with ant killer, you're blowing if their you up. were micro-lensing those motherfuckers, yeah. they'd be like popping off. Pop, like 450 brews. It'd just be <laughs> popping <laughs> off. Wow. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Black Widow, they really meant ant farts. Ant farts. Okay, I did yeah. it. 450, if you're listening, we got, a, we got your new name for your next beer, Ant Farts. <laughs> Ant Farts. So, so, so that, just, so that makes me it. question. So when, when you get the guy that comes over, the Orkin guy or whatever, to kill yeah, all your ants, yeah. is he spraying like Taco Bell down there like, <laughs> to get them all gassed it's up? All so they bean just juice, dude. Yeah. Straight bean juice. Dude, give them bean juice. It'll fuck them up. It'll pull their asses out. <laughs> Like their asses just blow the fuck up. <laughs> so ants cannot fart. We learned that if, love, any, if anything you get out of this episode, other than the amazing stouts we've been drinking, yeah. is ants don't fart, according to Ask Google. Yeah. Ask Google? Ask Google. Ask Google. Oh, ask. Ask. Ask, ask, Google. ask Google. That's a different Google. part of Google. Because it blows up ant asses. Yo, ask Google is a different search engine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. No. See, what, why is, do? I don't know. immediately I'm thinking of Pop Rocks when you said like, Fucking ants popping. Pop rocks. <laughs> pop rocks. You, you, if you give, rocks. An, you give an ant pop rocks and coke. <laughs> <laughs> Mentos and Diet Coke, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about the seagulls? I remember uh, we yeah. had like a huge seagull population at our junior high. Oh, here it goes. And dude. people would fucking feed them Alka Seltzer. Assholes, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's assholes, dude. That's assholes, dude. It, assholes, it dude. got yeah. to the point where the yard narcs would come out and like put a line from the lunch line to the seagulls so that nobody would throw fucking Alka Seltzer. Oh, yeah, anymore. dude. That's fucked no, up. That's bullshit, dude. dude. Like, honestly, like, Actually, fuck those guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't at least well. try it once. The guys I'm not going to lie. I'm not. Like, I see even, it. I've never heard that, but when you just said it, I was like, all right, I might oh, that's just fucked go up, get dude. Dude. They convulse and they fucking like pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I remember actually seeing the results. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucked up, dude. They kind of do that. Crazy. They do that little tweaking action. And I'm about to the go pop. on YouTube yeah. later. Like, uh, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. So uh, back to the stout, Nunco Muerto. <laughs> Man with dreadlocks arrested in fucking Santa Monica Pier. Fucking Killing all the pigeons. Killing fucking seagulls. With uh, a bag full of froze. La- la- <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, this this stout episode is getting us getting us pretty weird. <laughs> it's just sloth weird. nuts, <laughs> ant farts, and blowing up pigeons already. Yeah, oh, all shit. all in a, all in a night's work, man. That's right. We wake up on the money. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So what do you guys think? So this is uh, eight bit brewing uh, brew brew house, right? No, uh, no. Are they in there? Uh, no. got, like, beer uh, zombies. Uh, eight bit. Eight bit. Arrow Lodge. Arrow Lodge. There's another one if you read it on the, the label just to, oh, oh, to not miss it. Yeah, got uh, t- t- 8-Bit, New Glory, Beer Zombies, New Glory. and Hop Squad. Hop, and Hop Squad. Squad. Yeah. So this year's uh, um, drop of Nunco Muerta was um, Beer Zombies, 8-Bit, and Solaris Brewing. Nice. Yeah. I don't know, I'm kind of digging this one, man. The chocolate notes are like yeah. in your face. Yeah, it's been sitting for a good year, dude. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. I'm actually right. looking forward because I, I got this same bottle cellaring right now. Oh, nice. So nice. maybe we'll bring it out next year. Uh, what? what? Oh, you have one of these? I have this. Yeah, this oh, version. Oh, sick. I think you I just blew here? up like an ant yeah. fart right now. Yeah, I bought it. My yeah. head just blew up like an ant fart right now. Dude, that's yeah. ant fart or uh, Alka-Seltzer pigeon. You're, you're, you're a dick, dude. <laughs> you're a dick. <laughs> I, was, I didn't that's do it. You were the fucking guy, dude. It wasn't you me. You were the guy. You were the fucking guy. It wasn't me. He was just reporting it. Like To be honest, he wasn't like saying that he did it. Did you Did you break him up in half or quarters or what? I did. I did. He's like, See, he, he's about to answer me, dude. He goes, I broke it up in half. I threw it up in the air. And I was like, he's okay. like so I, this is what happens after they it. eat it. I, I don't it. So know what the happens thing, after I coated it with birdseed. <laughs> the only thing that I had a part of was I when I heard about this, because I hadn't seen it yet, I said, you're full of shit. That's not really going to happen. And so, oh, it's not going to happen. So my buddy's like, watch this. And we go to lunch, and he fucking throws the alcohol out there. Bird eats it, and sure shit, there it is. Bah! I'm no like, way. Are you fucking with me? Like right it just now? happens like that. Kills them, dude. They like can't burp, dude. They can't burp or pass gas. So Are you guys fucking with me right now? Yeah, they get oh. all they get all bloated and they just mm-hmm. yeah, they, like he's no, they, traumatized. They literally, right just, they literally right now. just keel over. I, no, it's like, that's wild. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is that? You have bird killers yeah, remember, just on the shelves I, at I CBS remember, <laughs> right now. What the fuck? I do remember one tough motherfucking bird managing to 
Like, it basically, like, passed everyone, like, oh, fuck, it's dead. And then it got up, shook its head, vomited its lunch, and then fucking flew off. It's like the dude that gets tased, like, like, five times by the cops. This bird's like, I'm not going out like this. Not today, Jesus. (laughs) Not today. (laughs) Not today. (laughs) It's like, fuck. (laughs) Like, (laughs) I'm out. (laughs) This pigeon ain't going down like no fucking bitch. Terminator (laughs) beer. That's Uh, another fucking Alka-Seltzer goddamn human. (laughs) (laughs) Guess who's getting shit on tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. getting shit on tomorrow. <laughs> Joke's on you, motherfucker. I'm impervious to, <laughs> yeah. to Alka-Seltzer. I'm, yeah. I'm going to eat a bunch of fucking shit. Taco Bell today, I'm going to fucking shit on you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. oh. How did we get... <laughs> this is like... <laughs> This is the, like this is like that strip club tangent though. This is the yeah. stout share of yeah. all stout oh shares. <laughs> and we still got what? Three more to go. Three more. Oh, I'm so oh stout, dude. Oh shit. Wait. And and of those three, they're oh all in God. the fourteen percent, aren't they? No. Um Ooh. The, is yep. the is the horse beer next? Yeah. Oh dude, I'm so stout. We're having some porpoise, buddy. Oh, okay. Uh, Twelve point. Hootie. I think it's like twelve point two. Hootie oh. and the blowjobs. Twelve point. I mean, two. blowfish. Yep. Josh, got, Josh got, got a little fucking uh, Swedish chef going on right now. Dude. You start doing it. You did it. You did it. You got him. It's 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 contagious. Okay. It's contagious. It'll Josh. get you. Just go with I was it. <laughs> Just go with it. Uh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See? The funny thing is, is I was in Sweden for six months and I don't remember anybody talking like that. No, <laughs> don't get all offended, dude. You're just fucking puppets, dude. Have you, did, did you meet a fucking puppet? Yeah, a muppet. Did you meet a muppet? Yeah. While you were in fucking Sweden, I have never right. met a muppet. So you person. don't know that the fucking Swedish chef talks like that. I mean, you guys ever you know. remember watching no. like the late yeah. night Muppet Show back from like the seventies? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, I watched it last week. Well, yeah. Well, like I didn't that, I that to me live during the 70s, but yeah, yeah, I, do, I, I, I know do, what you're talking about. I do. But yeah. to me, that was like the shit. Like, sure. Because like, the movies were always kind of like kind of tamed down. Sure. A bit, but that show, I think because it was like a late night, they just got away with all sorts of crazy. Totally. Dude, show. I don't know about you guys, but my favorite character favorite characters are the two guys that sit on the balcony. <laughs> yeah. and the two older Those shows. guys are the yeah. best, dude. That is dude. like my favorite. <laughs> they're so grouchy, and and the best part is like everyone's having a good time, and they're just up there like, <laughs> yeah. like oh man, yeah. they're just like I don't know, like just for example, like I'm just gonna like riff, but it's like like they say like oh we're gonna have a great time on the show today, and they're like oh that that only makes one of us or something. Yeah, like, exactly. They always, say <laughs> they always say something stupid like that. Like, Yo, <laughs> dude, I love those dudes. I I miss that. Like, didn't they? Was it this year or last year? Announced that they're not making Sesame Street anymore or something like that. And HBO like saved what kind them. Of blasphemy shit is that? What? Sesame Street. It, it, Sesame Street taught us about the hood. Twenty twenty made people weak. <laughs> getting rid of Sesame Street. <laughs> the fuck? Yep, okay. yep, 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 yep. It's fucking Big Bird. Seriously, dude. <laughs> Everybody needs Big Bear. Big Bird. Oh, <laughs> Big Bird. Oh, dude. Whoa. dude, we we gotta start watering down here. I know, dude. Here. Yeah. Yeah. You get some liquid death down, bro. Seriously. We ride it. <laughs> I said seriously. <laughs> seriously. Yeah, maybe, sure. I, maybe I need a little. Don't call me. See, don't th- call this me is Shirley. why like meme culture is like fucked me up. Because you ever see that meme with like Big Bird on the wagon says we ride at dawn, bitches. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. Tight, Wonder what happens if Big Bird eats a seltzer. <laughs> that's a good question. Wow, dude. It probably, wow. no, probably doesn't does do shit into dude. a turkey. Hey, dude, dude, didn't, didn't, <laughs> what? Did, recently. They just said something about what gender Big Bird was. Oh. Non-binary. Really? I think it was something like that. La- lays his own eggs and fertilizes his own yeah, eggs. No, Stuffleupagus yeah. does that shit. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> he, that's why he keeps Stuffleupagus a secret. Dude. Hey, Bird. Hey, Bird. <laughs> so, I'm touching my trunk. Do you guys ever... You ever guys my humongous eyelashes. Website, uh, right? T-shirt hell. Well, I don't know. The what? If you get a chance, just for some t-shirt hell. Yeah, t-shirt hell. It's basically a. I just describe it as like shirts that are guaranteed to get your ass kicked. Oh. And yeah. one of them was a. Uh, it said snuff film, and it basically had Big Bird like <laughs> fucking putting a gun to snuff. Oh my god! <laughs> so wow. That's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up, dude. Kids getting scarred everywhere. Like said, Mom, look what Big Bird said. Yeah. All right, are we are we ready for this? 
I said. We're ready. Yeah. Are you ready for this? this. Crack What's the next? Horus. All right. The Horus. Oh, dude. Oh, Horus I've been and the hearing Porpoise. a lot of Horror. great things about Horus. But this is the I, first time you've had a beer from Horus? No. Um, there is a um, food court next to Keen's called New Haven. It's oh, like New Haven Food Market, and they have a bar in there, and they carry Horus. So I always get the same coffee stout every time you go. Thanks. I'll go get my King's Drop, go to that New Haven Food Market, and go get a Horus stout. I'm on way out. That's dope. They make some of my favorite stouts for sure. It's only the same stout I've always drank, but when I like something, I get the same thing. Totally. So, oh, thank you, you for playing this. Oh. I'm so stoked. <laughs> oh god, thank we you. lost I'm him for a minute, dude, because he's looking for fucking booty in the whole flesh. Shout yeah. out to all my <laughs> my small town Virginians <laughs> out there. Booty in the whole flesh. I can picture my mom <laughs> raging this right now by the pool. She's like, this is my jam. Yeah, this was they the jam. One. Oh, yeah. I, uh, uh, the, the, for the lady. Yeah. You, you, gotta, you gotta love Hootie, baby. Okay. So, you. Got a booty. Right? Yeah, the booty and Does booty. anybody oh, remember yeah. the music video? Because I'm watching it right now. Oh, no, no I don't. Actually, see it. Oh, oh, oh. It's it's all old school NBA players from like the nineties like playing basketball. Yeah. Patrick Ewing. Only wanna be with you. Dude, you're watching Space Jam, dude. That's no, not no. even what That's the Hootie and the Blowfish <laughs> oh, music okay. video. Sorry, like, you. like there's Hootie, Darius Rucker. And they're playing golf, and then all of a sudden you'll see like Barkley? Yeah, you see NBA players playing basketball. But dude, they're playing golf? Don't worry, there's basketball. Okay, has, right. has time a chance. Watch, we'll wait. We'll wait for I'm still still seeing golf. My camera. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I get buzzed up, and I just put this on my phone. And I listen to it on my headphones. I jam out, dude. I'm not, dude, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I get. It's like this is my guilty pleasure song in the shower. I only want to be with you. Dude, dude, I do. dude, there's nothing guilty about it. Dude. I love it. I, I, I'm totally owning up to it. So, my dude. Sometimes I get buzzed up. <laughs> Any drinks? <laughs> he, he said always buzzed. Up. <laughs> Sometimes I get buzzed up in. Yo, what's this one? This horse. There you go. What's this horse. in that? Oh. Josh, if you don't mind reading, what's on that bottle? Is we'll there, wait, yeah. wait, wait, this is the coconut one? Yeah, dude. This, is, the, this is straight coconut. Read all that. Dude. Good job. This is all coconut. All right. dude. Oh, my God. Oh, this God. nose, Damn. baby. Yeah. Fuck me up, Horace. Right. Are we Let's ready? Go. Are we ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Imperial Stout with uh. coconut sugar, coconut mm. syrup, uh. marshmallows, muscovado sugar, uh. raw coconut, and <laughs> toasted coconut flakes. Uh. Shit. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but the do you like, keep talking dirty. Do you like coconut with your coconut? For real, dude. I like, I like sloth nuts. coconut. This is that yeah. coconut. I like sloth nut with my coconut. Right? Yeah. This <laughs> shit right here. <laughs> holy this shit. Okay, I haven't Straight tried yet. coconut. Definitely yummy felt goodness. like Josh was talking dirty just a second ago. He was, <laughs> dude. He was, dude. The moans and the background also helped. So now, <laughs> dude, this should, is, I, should I slow it down here for you? Oh. Let's, Let's play slow it down music. one more play time. Some sexy music. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, oh, he's gonna I, play some sexy music. No, right I, dude. I've got, I've got the, I've got the perfect. Okay, okay. You got the meat. I uh, love how quickly he has these the little meat. excerpts the like ready. Cheddar. I'm hungry as fuck. He's like got a little file. Oh, when I need that sexy porno music, I'll yeah, just dude. go here real quick. Hey, if you got Barry White, man, throw this. the file under that is like for the for the beer wife. Right, 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 right. It's that time of night. Yeah. Give it a second, Josh. Okay, okay. Get, get warmed up. Sure. All right. <clears throat> Just gotta give him my cue here. This is a fresh style too, which yeah. is pretty interesting. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Are you ready? Right? All right. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see if anybody uh, um, can recognize. All right, this. Let's, let's do it. Okay. Ready? Okay. Well, we gotta wait for the stupid YouTube uh, uh, channel. What do you yeah. call here? Uh-huh. I thought I had this one saved, but I didn't. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, I can't play it. Right now they're playing a Die Hard commercial for the batteries with Bruce Willis. Yes, that's a Christmas movie, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I want to give it all to Imperial Stout with coconut yeah. sugar, coconut syrup, marshmallow, marshmallow, muscovado sugar, dry <laughs> coconut, coconut, and toasted coconut. Oh, toasted, baby. Toasted. Toasted, baby. Toast these coconuts. coconuts. All right, what are we listening to, Brandon? Come on. How? How? 
oh yeah, we're feeling these motherfucking stouts. Uh, oh, get down with your stouts, girl. Yeah. Oh, oh, slap it. Slap we it love it. our stouts. Oh. Get okay. in. Oh, <laughs> let, me, let me take it to the very beginning, see if this <laughs> jars any memories. Hold on. It's Sexual chocolate? Is it the yeah. opener for a sexual chocolate? Yeah, yeah dude. Oh, Hell yeah. That's what they call me, yeah. just so you know. Hell yeah. yeah. Eli Prose also. Sexual, sexual chocolate. chocolate. That's Mark a Henry. weekend name. That's your weekend name, huh? Find me on OnlyFans. Hey, Friday night. Sexual chocolate, baby. Friday night. Hang, <laughs> hang, up, the, hang up the Eli Prose. Mm. Let me put on this sexual chocolate jacket. You just, you just put on a leotard and you just wear it everywhere. <laughs> Prose by day, sexual chocolate by night. <laughs> you gotta go with, like, more oh, leotard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right, baby. And Uber. <laughs> it's like a Uber chocolate Explorer. Kool-Aid man. He's like, oh, yeah. Didn't, didn't Mark Henry oh, yeah. impregnate like the old lady and they like gave birth to a hand? Yes. That, that was a thing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Josh is like, what is the beer dad talking about right hey, now? Okay, before. It's, it's wrestling, Josh. That's uh, what. That's, yeah. yeah, we went there. <laughs> Grown man. Wrestling. 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 Yeah. So, WWF, uh, baby. I'm, say, I, I'm digging this. The Fabus Moolah? Wasn't too. the Fabus Moolah or something? this one. Yeah. So, what do you guys all think about no, May Young. this uh, this beer here? Yeah, this Horace beer. Horace. <laughs> all right, let me get serious. You mean coconut so, juice? Yeah, yeah, boy. Bring it straight. Coconut, coconut juice. juice. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yeah. It's like if they made a stout, or it's like if they made coconut, right? They, they like do some make coconut, coconut juice, and then they just added some stout to it. <laughs> like, just slaps with Seriously, it slaps dude. in all the right ways. Like mm-hmm. nice, nice deep. Deep roasted, or excuse me, toasted. So I've heard a lot, uh, and you might be able to answer this, uh, Brandon. Horace Hills, yeah. uh, San Diego. That's good. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Aren't that, so the they're like location. super sought after, and like you have to have like, there's, they have club membership. The convocation, and, yeah. It's, yeah. It's a membership. So, Wait, yeah. bitch. So I got, I got this beer you from my buddy. You can't be a peasant and get us. Exactly. No. That whole thing, you know, whatever. <laughs> so my, my, my good friend, Rich, uh, he is a part of the convocation. And so he was like, Hey man, like I have some horse and I was like, Oh, right. And so he sold this bottle to me and whatever, but, or traded it, whatever. And, uh, but yeah, you have to be a part of the membership and then yeah, be able to, uh, and once you're accepted, yeah. then you can buy into it. So super sought after, um, they're, uh, as far as like uh, stouts go, like they're one of the like top like when you in the beer trade community, like everyone's like, oh, I got Horace. Like I hear Horace, I hear Mastra or Mosca, Mosca, right? M O S K A. They're up north, I think. Moxa, yeah, yeah. Moxa M O K S. There you go. Um, so, but Horace is one that I'm constantly hearing, like especially when you know I meet somebody new in like the beer trade game or whatever, and they always ask me like, oh, do you have access to Horace? Yeah. And I'm like. I don't even try because I just know how hard it is to get. Like sure. if I have a buddy that somehow, like you say, it's part of the membership club or just happens to be able to get some, I'll, I'll, I'll trade for it. But um, this is the first, I've never had this. This is crazy. And it just is up there with that Mortalis. And uh, what was that last one we just had? Um, oh, uh, the doom, Dr. Doom. Oh yeah. Doom. Uh, Neurologic. Yeah. All very rich and sweet. This and the Zool, I would love to cuvee both of those. Like if I had the marshmallow with this coconut, holy shit! I'm, I'm about wow. to. I'm about to actually. Yeah, you, <laughs> you are. You're you gonna are. have the ultimate cuvee of stouts. <laughs> yeah, That's I'll, 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 yeah, yeah. This beer and that beer and uh, and friends <laughs> and friends. <laughs> and we pregamed. Holy yeah. shit, boys! Dude, we had a nice pregame too. Uh, we did. Yeah. Shout out. We had some blurries. Yeah. Uh, that was excellent. Imprint 450, that collab. You guys blew it out of the park with that one. Right. There's some other things we had for uh, the Fluff and Nutter. Fluff and Nutter from Kings. 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 Jeremiah, oh, I fucks with you. Don't quit your J job. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Don't quit and the day job. Jeremiah, thank plug. you for <laughs> releasing Fluff and Nutter right before the Beer Dad's birthday. Really Let's go. So, yeah. Happy birthday, by the way. Pre- yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. And also we had a uh, Veil Monkish collab. We did. Jimmy Fuckin loved that. Yeah. That oh, was yeah. fire. Monkish so and good. Veal, you guys, from the East Coast to the West Coast, Shit. you guys got to keep working mm-hmm. together because that Amazing easy was fire. <laughs> we had, fire. We had yeah, that bir- birthday, a little bit. birthday yeah. gift from Josh, some uh, uh, anchor, some cellar to anchor. Amazing. That was yeah. freaking good, dude. It the was barrel like, ale. I, when I took, the, took that first sentence, I'm like, oh, dude, this is going to fuck me up dude because it smelled like it was going to be super boozy and it was like so mellow and just 
delicious. All the flavors, like it was delicious. really good. Yeah. Yeah. So Thanks yeah, it's been a great day, and thank you all for following along with our beer dad and brood Ooh. adventures. Almost there, guys. Totally, almost we're almost there. there. We only almost got two more. Done. Go. Finish line. No. Yeah. <laughs> So thank you. Guys. Hey, don't don't tell him to tell now, We're Eli. I'm ready to go. No, dude. I just like telling him thank you. Yeah. So this yeah. is this is another one that Eli brought, and this is the one that has soft serve in it, doesn't it? Oh, yes, yeah. this oh, is the oh, over dude. one what? million served, which is other half, and I think it might be a collab with someone else. Correct? Oh, uh, could could just be other half, but I they think it use. Might be other dude, seriously, I really hope they dumped a bunch of like McDonald's soft serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah a million served, right? That's uh, what. Yeah, I think that's what this they one's. Use. Uh, really, in, in Jimmy was asking for half. McDonald's earlier. Dude, I wanted McDonald's so yeah. bad. Oh, we should have got it, dude. We so should have. Just dude. other half, I believe. There's caramel, vanilla, right? You got uh, Snickerdoodle. Let me see. There's uh, a hmm. Snickerdoodle Concrete Imperial Stout. Concrete. With cinnamon, vanilla, sauce serve, and milk sugar. Yeah, that concrete kind of throw me off. Is it made with eggs? Like you know how they call concrete? Oh, like yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. like uh, yeah, what right, do you call it? Right. Uh, okay, not 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 like gyps. <laughs> 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 not like this. He's like, why the fuck? Yeah, I'm not laying bricks. In there. Yeah. We're not laying bricks for this shit. No, what's so. what's the name of that? Uh, it's like a compote or no? It's like it's like a different type of shake. Uh, concrete is it's like slang yeah. for something else. It's, uh, so like a custard? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Custard. Custard. Right. Like dude, I love frozen custard. Custard's fucking good, dude. Hell yeah. Fucking custard's great. I like that. Yeah, shit. I've been saving this one for a special occasion, so I'm glad I got to pull it yeah. out for this. Dude, Aww. thank you so much. Thank you. Nah, for sure. Oh, thanks, Eli. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, so, we well, we're having a... Uh, we're having uh, over so a billion was, serves, yeah. so I, I feel like something that's going to go in the background for this. Bum, 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 it's not a song. Here. It's a it's a movie scene. So, Thank you. yes, sir. Are we gonna have to pick that movie? Like, try to yes. figure it out without looking. Oh, dude, Pulp Fiction, dude. Pulp Fiction. Oh, all nope. day, baby. <laughs> nope. Oh no, snakes on a plane. Nope. Take the money out. Say what again? Oh, dude, this is coming to America. Dude. Yes. Oh, yeah. coming to America dude. Damn, he got us. We are we are in McDowell's right yeah, now. Yeah, we're in McDowell's. Head, head off. off. <laughs> so glow. He's hiding. Yeah. yeah. You got that so glow. Uh oh. Here, here, here he comes. He's gonna get his mop. <laughs> it's gonna he's taking off the handle. He's taking the head off. I'm not even looking at it, dude. He's he's screwing it off right now and he's walking up. Yep. Arsenio gives him the look from behind the counter. Excuse me for a moment. Dude, Eddie was cool. Eddie was cool in this movie, dude. Excuse me for a moment. Who talks like that? Wise for you to put the weapon down. Fucking Who dope, the dude. Fuck is this asshole? Refrain <laughs> <laughs> from using any further obscenities in the presence of these people. What? The I warned you. I'll be forced you. to thrash you. Fuck you. <laughs> Sam Jackson was so young in this movie. And so was Eddie Murphy and Arsenio, yeah. dude. Look at Arsenio. Freeze, you diseased right <clears> now. Dust risk box. Yep. He's like, shit. <laughs> He's like, and I'm done. I know. <laughs> Look at him in his soul glow. Uh, soul glow, stuff. dude. Dude, yeah, you see that they're, they're talking. I think they're going to do a part two, dude. They are. Yeah. It's in the works, and it's going to be about Eddie Murphy's uh, son. Okay. Who's the son going to be? Um, I don't know. I forget who they cast for him, but it's going to be good. Kevin Hart or some shit. <laughs> Kevin Hart. This, uh, this beer is a trip, <laughs> man. Do you smell this yet? Oh, I am. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, where are we at? Where are we at? Sorry. Back We're going to... back into it after we had some nostalgia with Coming to America, oh, McDowell's, yeah. since we're McDonald's. drinking a McDon- <laughs> McDonald's, McDonald's bootleg beer yeah. here. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, this is the big other Mac. half. We got the Big Mick. We got the Big Mick. Right. Yeah. Isn't it McDougal's or Dude, it smells okay. like when you walk into like a like a Thirty One Flavors, or you walk into like a Dairy Queen. You know that smell, like that cold. I mean, I mean, getting like, like I'm definitely getting the Snickerdoodle smell, like big yeah, time. I'm getting the spices. <clears throat> yeah, like I'm the cinnamon. Spice and... Fire, fire. It's almost like spicy on the nose. It's I kind of want to chug it. You just kidding? I won't. You're going to chug soon, so don't you worry. Oh, wow. Don't you worry. Wow. Your time is coming. <laughs> oh, coming. you're going to chug. <laughs> it's coming. I got your chug right here. Yes. I'm scared. <laughs> don't worry. The bathroom's right there, Brando. Are you kidding me? Uh, That's a, actually a pretty damn good beer. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm actually digging that one. Dude, other half smashes. Huh. Period. 
Yeah, they do. Oh, there's a they lot do. going on with that Every beer, dude. Beer I've oh. had. Yeah, there's they a really lot going on with that. It's really good though. They're, they're, it's layered, like. Yeah, dude, it's boom, a lot boom, going boom. on, but it's fucking good, dude. I'm gonna. I mean, I'm getting this. I'm actually getting like a little bit of that soft serve going in there. I was like, you just went up to the little machine. You uh, just yep, uh, poured uh, it in there. Is it is it just me? But I kind of get a little bit of like a black cherry flavor. Little hint of it. Yeah, yeah. there's a there's some kind of berry or, or, or something going on there. Get a little I, black I cherry. Got that, yeah. Kind of like a like thrifties, like thrifties right? Like black oh, cherry what? ice cream. Yeah, yeah, one of my favorites. Dude, it is it is. When I could eat ice cream, yeah. that's really good. Other yeah. half, well done. Seriously, yes, well done. Killed it. I wish you guys were all here with us because I mean, this has been a I mean, good night. Of I was like scouts. coming up on the end here. Seriously. We're hitting Black some, Cherry, uh, dude. You're right. Hitting a few of them out of the park. It's even like a uh, Morris, other half. We have you know, nailed Nuka, it. You know, nailed Aero Lodge. It. And we're we're hitting some winners out of here, dude. Seriously, sloth ball sacks, sloth balls, and <laughs> exploding pigeons. Don't exploding forget that. pigeon fucking Dol- asses. Dolphin oh, no. exploding ant farts. asses. Yeah. Beaumont likes the rain. Yeah, they do Beaumont like, like booty stuff. Like, yeah, those are those slap are, and tickle. Th- those are gonna come. Yeah, tickle ball. No oh, tickle balls. <laughs> Is that like pickleball? Tickle no, balls I just, I just instead remember, of jingle balls. Uh, oh, I remember the wrestling tickle coach balls, being like, balls, like, "All right, we're not here. We're not here to play tickle ball or slap ass." We're here to wrestle. We're here to wrestle. We're here to wrestle, boss. We're gonna wrestle. You're gonna wrestle. You know the whole fucking time, dude. I keep fucking drifting off onto the fucking TV because there's a badass kung fu flick on right now, dude. Yeah, dude, this guy dude, has such a cool hair, beard. You could pull that off right there. That look right there. You get that. Uh, you know what? Fuck you, Justin. Because you know I can't grow hair on top of my head, motherfucker. He just Aww. said, "If you do not call me Betty, I will <laughs> cut off you your dick too." It is five o'clock, and time for his nap. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite line in it is when the dude, the older grandpa dude, gets his ass whooped, and he's like, "Do not let him play." The big butt song. <laughs> yeah. Because he kicks your ass while he dances to it. While he plays it. Will you, will you, will you. <laughs> Just because I go, will you, uh, does not mean I am dead. <laughs> like, no. Ta- Taco Bell, Taco Bell. <laughs> and Charito, no Charito. <laughs> <laughs> Leave. Yo, I love that movie. If you guys so haven't hard. seen Kung Pao Enter the Fist, <laughs> watch it right now. With the tongue's like, yay, yay! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love that shit. I love it. I feel like <laughs> when, when I they... said you shall be able to make it. No! Wee oo, wee oo, wee oo, wee oo! Charles and Mark! I'm coming! Charles and Mark! I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> oh, there it goes. The beer dad yeah, got it. Here we go. Yes! That's it right there. <laughs> bye bye! Wee oo, wee oo, wee oo, wee oo, wee oo! Yeah, he's like, oh, such a cute baby. Bye, baby. Bye. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and she throws him down there. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes. Yes. He Dude. partied with the desert creatures. <laughs> Oh, what a classic right there. Oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> that uh, gets that was, me every time, that's a good one. dude. Yeah, so I keep watching this Kung Fu flick. Dude's so, like <laughs> bleeding okay. from his chest. Oh, serious, yes. Serious just question for right you all there, just Oh, wait, wait. Pressure. Since uh, we, 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 obviously Kung Fu seems to be kind of a, a theme <laughs> oh, here tonight. Shit. Any ever try to grow like a little fucking Kung Fu mustache? Never. Nah, Do you dude. see Confucius my facial mustache? hair, you bearded motherfuckers? Dude, yeah. I'm not getting any Kung Pao <laughs> mustache <laughs> over like here, little, okay? Don't this don't, is my so, first stout so night. <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break. Dude, don't you ever tried bad, for like dude. the Fu Manchu He thing? did that on purpose. He's like, oh, so have any of you guys yeah. grown some facial hair? And Specifically it's just you, me Eli. who hasn't. <laughs> well, he was looking <laughs> right at you. Like, fuck. Yeah, right? Like, what the fuck? He's looking right at you, dude. He was all like, 
Hey, have you ever <laughs> yeah. tried? Have you specifically? <laughs> like, no, I haven't. Dude, you literally have more hair in one dread that I have on my face. Yeah, it's <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, I wish man. I could get it on my face. Ah. I was going to say, you got a good stash going on, man. Like, like, fuck Give me, yourself credit, guy. man. Give yourself credit. It's like, how did I get so much hair on my head but none on my face? Like, What was fuck. that movie from the 80s where I they the like opposite problem. took the peanut butter <laughs> and they like spread it and then like the hair would just grow crazy? Do you remember that movie? Wait, what? No. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. That's what <laughs> no, you need. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. I've never heard of that. <laughs> you never. You don't remember that movie? A, p- a movie where they put peanut yeah. butter on your head and your hair grew. Yeah. What the fuck were you watching? Eighties <laughs> movie, bro. Jesus. That's some weird kinky shit right there. <laughs> no shit, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. He's all yeah, yeah dude. He's like, damn, little so kids. So, so I put on my balls, tried to grow some hair, and the dog came around, and sure. It worked on my head, so maybe, maybe it'll work on my nuts. Yeah, yeah so, and then the dog came around, and shit, I've been in heaven, heaven ever since. <laughs> it, the movie is called... The Beard Dog, the beard dog the Comes By. <laughs> I cannot believe that the name of the movie is... I don't remember the movie being called this, but the actual name of the movie is The Peanut Butter Solution. <laughs> oh, dude. 1985. We don't want to know what you look at when oh, you're no, alone. Dude, I know, dude. We don't know. What, that's like, so, like the solution to a lonely night. <laughs> so basically, the beer dog, uh, on it. beer dad, beer dog, and a little bit of beer peanut butter. So, no, it's a movie where two ghosts Fluffernutter. make a special potion and they use peanut butter and it helps this kid that lost his hair grow his hair back. Oh, God. All right, man. I'm sure he does. I, I feel like there's some Look it up on IMDb Peanut Butter Solution uh, 1985. Yeah, dude, I think this is a fucking, this is some kind of fucking hoax to get me to look at fucking. Some freaky deaky. That's it. Yeah. You're, you're, getting, yeah. you're, getting a, you're getting a preview of this movie. I don't want to see a preview of some well, dude fucking peanut butter just balls, saying, dude. If it was in a movie, the beer dog. And the beard dog coming by, fucking licking on the fucking if it beard was nuts. In, if it was in a movie, on <laughs> oh, the beard nuts, there, <laughs> sloth nuts, sloth there might, nuts. There might be some truth to it. So maybe peanut butter sloth nuts. Yeah. There you go. Oh, maybe hey, if it's a new variant, maybe you, variant. Can, you can grow it's hair with peanut butter. <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't like IMDb. What is this stuff? We got an ad first. Let's drink this. Uh, yeah. This beer. What? This is the. Uh, other half. Other half. Oh, other half. This is fantastic. One, over one million served. Dude, Damn insane. good beer. Insane. I'm not going to lie. This is actually is, a really dude. good yes. fucking beer. Oh, dude, dude. The, the, the fucking. Oh, other half smashes. The spices that come through on this thing, dude, are fucking like. I, know. I just oh. love the fact that they're all like layered perfectly, man. They're not right. muddled. It, it's like, like you get your cinnamon, you get your oh, soft serve, you get, uh, okay. you know, vanilla, the whole, whole lot. You know? It tastes like walking into an ice cream shop. I love it. Pretty much. That's cool. Oh, Crifty's uh, triple scoop totally. action going on there. You go down to the, get them malted. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got Hang out at the ice cream bar. So he gets made fun of because he's bald now. <laughs> you can't just come into our house, can you? Is this like a weird way of like selling peanut butter? Maybe. <laughs> Whoa. He put peanut butter in the least likely place. A jar of peanut butter. Interesting. And you put the solution on your bald head, Jimmy. Watch, pay attention. Oh, yeah. The solution is just the beginning. It's growing so fast. Early I'm an even life. bigger problem. Mr. Jingus, it's moving. Human hair grows only half an inch. Yeah. Stout brain. No His hair won't stop growing. Holy shit, dude. Well done. He looks like Cousin It. You ever see like early live recordings of Iggy? I'm telling you, that's when he's fucking doing weird like uh, the passenger, and he whips out a fucking jar of peanut butter and starts like spearing it all over himself. <laughs> what is this? Early Iggy Pop when he's oh, like doing live no, sets. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There, oh, there's God. one where he fucking starts smearing peanut butter on himself, that's and then right. he jumps into the crowd. And they start licking and it they off. Fucking licking it off of him. Oh my God. <laughs> fucking Iggy, man. Out of control. Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah, yeah that's a little weird. Oh, it's Iggy Pop. What do you expect? No, no. I, I understand the premise though. I understand. I am the passenger, riding that ride. <laughs> Iggy fucking pop, Iggy yeah. pop, dude. You guys ever seen? Uh, I cannot Almost believe famous. that we've That's gone in this episode ever. and it's gone all the way to where Iggy. we're talking about Iggy pop. There's nothing wrong with Iggy Yo, pop. Yeah, we've There's talked about a lot of shit. Over here. <laughs> it's been an eventful night. So, dude, so now that we, so now, now that Iggy we know, pop. stouts bring out some of the most crazy conversations. Dude, did you yeah. see the fucking latest fucking um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Induction 
mean, it had to be like COVID edition, so it was all recorded shit. Everybody's like at home. But fucking like Trent Reznor was fucking getting inducted, like Nine Inch Nails getting inducted yeah. or whatever. Nice. And Iggy Pop was was doing it, dude. And that motherfucker still didn't have a shirt. I don't think he owns a shirt, dude. No. <laughs> you don't think he and you know what, though, dude? At fucking like 99, how old the fuck old? Like, he, he's probably, I think he's, he's actually like 38, dude, but he <laughs> so many fucking drugs. He just, dude, he's, he's, right. he's, he's rough, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's been through it all. Ah, dude, but his hair is great, though, dude. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, fucking product he is, dude, but it's fucking great. I don't think he's ever washed it. Well, no, it's peanut butter. It's the peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. He puts peanut butter in it. Dude. That's sure. it. We just saw that movie, the yeah. peanut butter. He's experience. actually bald, but he puts peanut butter on before every shoot, and it mm-hmm. fucking grows just for the shoot. I love it. Yeah. All right, we're down Apparently. to. We're on the last one. We're down to the grand last finale. One. We got two more beers. Uh, uno, uno oh, one more beer. Brandon's got two more. I do. Let's yeah. do it. Una mas, folks. <clears throat> una mas. This is nictophobia. And we're gonna go a little Latin here. Nictophobia. What is that nictophobia? I'm not sure what nicto is. Yes. But I know because I looked it up. What uh, Jimmy? Uh, let the listeners know what nictophobia is. Uh, fear of things in the dark. Nice. Really? Yeah. Nice. Nicto. I guess like a lot of kids fear have that fear. Of the dark. But it, now it's like when you're older, you're like, this fucking room's got to be blacker yeah. than the Ace of Spades because yeah. I cannot sleep if there's any light anywhere. Really? Really? Yeah. No, I gotta oh. have a but, super pitch black dark. I mean, you have eyelids, though, right? It doesn't work. Yeah, shut them, oh, dude. Yeah. Just shut them. I, 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 I shut I, mine, and I'm like, I contribute. Oh, I contributed dude, to I working sleep. graveyard. It's night, night right now. I yeah. sleep fucking hard. As I, need dark. Right. <laughs> I need dark. Need dark. Here we go. Need here. dark. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. Nope. Sound creeps. Oh, that was a that good was one, a, that Josh. Was a nice dude. That no. sounded there was juicy, man. There was no ant fart there. So, so for, <laughs> that was a termite fart. <laughs> so for all you metalheads, uh, the label of this beer actually is very similar to the uh, cover of uh, Fear of the Dark by Iron Maiden. Ooh. So if you guys dig on that type of stuff. And this uh, is uh, Amplified Ale Works that we're going to have. Amplified. Right uh, which this sadly, dude, one? which this sadly, yeah. Okay. But sadly, Fair they they closed down their Miramar their Miramar location what? just recently. Did they really? Yeah, they just they wow. So they don't think they'll be doing any more distribution. So this may be some of the last amplified ales you'll be getting for a while. Oh shit! If not ever. Wow, that sounds good. Yeah. Ooh. And what's what, what's sad is they, they they've been doing some really 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 good beers lately. I mean, their beers have been fucking fantastic. COVID, man. I was gonna say we had it's some on the show. It's really yeah. honestly crazy how much yeah. COVID has affected even those who make good products yeah. and have the clientele. Yeah. It's damn. What a yeah. year. Yeah, they they just closed up year. their Miramar location and um, they're scaling down. So they're only gonna have beer for like their 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 what well, their tap rooms, club, bar, restaurant things. So like a PB and the crazy other trying times. I mean, you got to figure it out, I guess, you know, I yeah. mean, well, like you, you're like MacGyver. You've had to change your business model here. Oh what, I'm like Gunny times? Highway, dude. I'm like Gunny Highway. Yeah. Dude. Like what? Four <laughs> or five times since this whole pandemic started. Adapt, overcome, improvise. When <laughs> 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 Gunny Highway, dude, you, you don't remember that, do you? What is it? No. Fucking Gunny Highway from fucking Heartbreak Ridge. Uh, uh-uh. what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there's a line where he's all like, "Fucking, you got to fucking adapt, overcome, improvise." His friend Ankle Sneeze the Bard dedicated this song. Done and done. Let's give it a listen. A drunkity dwarf. He drank. It's funny because this one smells like traditional, almost like aged stout. Like this has like been sitting on a cellar for maybe a year or two. This one, the first time I had it was a sleeper. I had it and I was like, dude, this is fucking good beer, man. Yeah. And they're, I, I mean, not huge known, huge known for their uh, their barrel program or their stout yeah. program, but it's good. Yeah, you could, well, it even says bourbon barrel yeah. aged stout. And they're, so. they're not known for their bourbon barrel aged, yeah. but they should be because this yes. is a good beer. I am 100% ignoring the shit out of you right now, Beer Dad. <laughs> <laughs> that is the stout song playing in the background. <laughs> I'm just saying. I was waiting to get a reaction out of Jimmy. Uh, you got it. You got it. I don't know if that's the one you wanted, but you got it. Uh, what, uh, what is this? Oh, we, we were supposed to be done. No. We were supposed it's to one be more on the table, baby. We were supposed to be he done. Said you're not I think, done I think yet. Brandon was doing some foreshadowing when he was like, two more, right? And I was like, no, <laughs> one more. <laughs> Yep. He, he, he's walking one. over here with something. Uh, yeah, it looks like he they have some, here at, uh, Craft some Lounge. heater on tap at Craft Lounge yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. It's just the BL. It's a little thing. It's just a little It's a little something, something. It's a little something, something, 14.7% something, something Jesus. that we have up on fucking Oof. tap. 
<laughs> hey, pour that in Brandon's cup. Actually, I would say that's probably the biggest beer of the night then, because Amplified here is 14.2. So we... Oh, yeah, and this is a 14.7 right here. Right, 14.7, all right. But that's Amplified. Okay, get back to Nyctophobia before we try. I know what this yeah, yeah, is. Yeah, but... yeah. Yeah, let's, do, let's finish out with Nyctophobia. This is actually really good. I like this. This is like almost like coming full circle in a way, because with uh, Crowns and Hops, you know, you got that like traditional to-the-letter like stout that just kills all kills it you know just yeah. hits all those right points this one you know no different same thing, same thing. you get a barrel aged stout to the style hits all the good points <clears throat> this was the basis of their uh they bottled like black is beautiful they did the collab with weathered souls did um their black is beautiful um yeah. version so they blended this with coffee and then yeah, i want to say they, they they did the weathered souls um recipe Really, and they blend all three of them together. Nice. So they actually added coffee to the Black is Beautiful, and that was really, 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 really good one. Their Black is Beautiful. So, no, I'm, I'm digging on this one. No, it's really nice. Good. Real good. This is a good way to end the night. Oh, that's not no, over no, yet. Yeah, baby. Brandon just Brandon <laughs> just brought you a little something, something to fucking put you night night for your uh, Uber ride home to mm-hmm. fucking Palm Springs. You you Uber's about to wake you up, dude. Palm Springs. <laughs> He's about to shake you like for your Uber ride for your Uber ride home to Phoenix. So here's what's gonna, gonna happen. <laughs> Eli's gonna leave, right? And about an hour and a half place? later, <laughs> He's an hour gonna and a half come later, back. He's gonna come back. I'll end up at King's. Like how the did I get here? <laughs> hey, oh, OJ, shit. sorry I'm here. <laughs> You're going to be like, fucking Tijuana, what the fuck? Stout season. We're um, warm, aren't dude, we? Dude, we are. Josh is mesmerized Spaby. by the Kung Fu movie sorry, right now. Baby, boy, baby boy, I'm hot. You hot. Like, there's some hot. serious ass kicking going on on TV now. Like, oh, see? Now, now Josh got stuck watching some Kung Fu shit. Did you see that? They are right. addicting. They yeah. used to do, I think, was it, what the fuck was that channel? It was supposed to be like the man's channel. Spike TV. Yeah. They used to do like uh, marathons of like old kung fu movies like late at night. And I remember just like sometimes like, you know, working like graveyards or whatever. And I'd just sit there and watch them all night. And sometimes the wife would come out and look, what the fuck are you watching? Well, remember when uh, Robert Rodriguez and fucking Quentin Tarantino came out with that channel for a while? What was that called? Oh, I know what you're talking about. But then they had like a bunch of like like Shaw Brothers fucking kung fu movies coming God, out. For it like, was um, it lasted for like a minute, dude. And yeah. it was like he had uh, they had that fucking lucha underground wrestling show. <laughs> they had the kung fu shows. Dude, did I ever tell you my uncle was a fucking professional wrestler? No, I didn't know that. No, he was a professional wrestler. His name was Steve Combs. We went by Steve Rosano, the Gigolo, the Gigolo, <laughs> the like Gigolo, that. and he was the champion of fucking XPW. No shit. It was legit, dude. He was like fucking legit. And then like Wait, when ECW fucking like Yeah, um, XPW was the jam. I think I know dude, I think I went to a show at Pico Rivera. Yeah, they used to fight at Pico all the time, yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched yeah. Uh, I watched XPW, used to get it on, on the fucking antenna yeah. TV. At like yeah. two o'clock in the morning it would come out, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And my that's my what uncle you were watching. That was your that was your <laughs> uncle. That's what my you uncle were watching. my uncle, he he was fucking the gigolo, Steve Rosano. That's dude. dope, dude. And he was huge in Germany, apparently, dude. They that's dope. In Germany. Yeah. <laughs> I love my wrestling. Because he was black. Oh. Remember Raw Black? Yeah. The Raw Black guy. Army? Yeah. The and he, guy. he was part of the Raw Black Army, dude. Yeah. He was like the general for a little Steve bit. Steve Rosano. Yeah. Steve Rosano. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, that's that, your that was my uncle, dude. You're going to have to bring him. We got to have him on the show. Talk yeah, to maybe. him. Yeah, maybe. He's up in uh, Frisco right now. But, that's okay. Yeah. We could take a road trip. Yeah. yeah he probably loved that shit. Dude. Oh, yeah. 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 Talk about the glory days. Yeah. I used to fuck people up and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> take a cheese grater to the face. Actually, oh, yeah. dude. He would, dude, he would do some fucking those extreme fucking wrestling things, dude. And it was like, dude, why are you doing this to yourself <laughs> like the icp hit you with the backyard chairs <laughs> no like, dude dumb? Worse. i'm talking about bob Worse. wire matches i'm talking about bob no, wire dude, matches. They, they did those death matches with Oof. the freaking the bombs and shit you get dropped on the table and it what? had like c4 and it'd blow up ah, and shit dude, they'd do some crazy stuff in XPW. Yeah. Dude, crazy do you remember xpw the 90s no, were I wild uh, i don't remember there was the west one? coast ecw Okay, I remember ECW, yeah. but I don't remember yeah. the other one. Yeah, yeah. so like a, a a porn dude started it, Rob Rob Black. Right? Rob Black, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he started it, and it was like the West Coast version of ECW was extreme, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. barbed wire. Everyone would bleed Sorry. to death and Just backyard death matches. Type stuff, yeah, yeah. It was it was insane, and you could get it on like like he said, two o'clock in the morning if you got your bunny ears just right. You get it. Yeah, you could watch it. it you could like, watch a. Uh, uh, That's cool. Veronica Kane was fucking Rob Black's wife. Yep. 
And then, uh, no, 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 not Veronica Kane. Um, it was uh, Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden was his wife. Lizzie and then Borden. she would always fight Veronica Kane, yeah. who was my uncle's fucking manager. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So what about, weird. and then they had Supreme. What a small right? yeah, Dude, dude, Supreme. when he used to come out, dude, Wait, he, would, he would come out and be like, what's my name? The whole Supreme. fucking guy, Supreme. <laughs> Dude, so yeah, that guy was the nicest guy in the world because I went backstage over at yeah. the Olympic uh, Auditorium. The Grand Olympic Auditorium. Yep, I went there for a show too. Yeah, I went backstage. Your uncle was a wrestler. Did I miss that? Hmm? Yeah, you did. You yeah. walked oh, out on that. Shit, he was awesome. the champion Sorry, for XUW for a while. Oh, did and, uh, Steve Rosano. Yeah, and uh. They took me backstage, dude. These guys are all fucked up. New Jack, when New Jack was, oh was, god, that dude was crazy. Him and the Sandman were fighting, and they went up to the balcony, dude. And fucking Sandman threw him off the balcony onto his tables, and he took it a little crooked, so it fucked up his ribs, dude. And there was like a bunch of white meat showing and shit because he <laughs> fucked himself up. <laughs> so I go in the back, dude, and he's back there, and he's for just, like a hundred bucks, he did it. Ah, dude, I'm yeah. telling you, dude. And, and I go in the back backstage and stuff, and um, I meet Jack, and he's sipping on a fucking like a fifth of fucking Jack Daniels. So that way he gets stitched up yeah. for his thing. And I was, he goes, check this out. I was like, oh, dude, that's fucking gross, dude. So is it meat, dude. Steve Combs? Yeah. Yeah, that's your that's guy on Wikini- yeah. Wikipedia in him right now. That's <laughs> yeah. crazy. What the fuck? That's what I'm cool. I used so, to watch this guy. What the fuck? Yeah, and then like, uh, we went back there. And Look he, at him. He's like, let's go. Yeah, dude. And he had the fucking, his, his signature move was like the booyah. And the fucking, um, God, there was a, the booyah and something else. He would do like the fucking, like a sidewalk slam. And be like, booyah, and the whole fucking crowd. <laughs> yeah, what was, what was that? Oh, God, was Kid Chaos was on there. Kid Chaos. And that was he one was of my favorite. Ended, yeah. And then uh, Angel was like the first like, like and then Pogo. LGBTQ. Pogo the Pogo Clown. The clown. Pogo the Clown. What about Homeless Jimmy? I remember yeah. Homeless Jimmy. Dude, yeah. Dude, Pogo the Clown, fucking dude's nice. He owned his fucking moving company up in fucking uh, like Bainbridge. Yeah. <laughs> and he, uh, my grandma was moving. My mom's mom was moving and stuff, which is Steve's mom. And, uh, he came and moved all my grandma's furniture and shit, dude. Pogo the Clown. Pogo the fucking Clown was all my fucking Pogo the Clown. That dude was a maniac, dude. If you look at Pogo the Clown, the guy was a fucking maniac, No, I remember dude. Pogo. Yeah. That was like a... That was... Wow, that's XPW. X- bring the, yeah, dude. There's rumors that they're trying to bring that back. Right. XPW. Without yeah. Rob Black, of course. Yeah, well, Rob Black was kind of an asshole. So Chris Kloss, remember that guy? Chris fucking Kloss, Yeah, he's, he, him and some other people are trying to bring it back. We'll see. Well, remember the fucking, like, when ECW went down, they, like, XPW absorbed a lot of their wrestlers. Whatever, whoever didn't go over to fucking WWF yep. came over to fucking XPW and shit. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Dude, so, imagine yeah. XPW in the craft lounge, like, back. back. Oh, we got to do a wrestling show. I'm down. I'm I will down. put... I will put my wrestling booth back on. You have on. to start it with the Degeneration Next <laughs> yeah. theme song for yeah. sure, no? <laughs> Xbox, like, yeah. I just got Xbox, my dude. Spotify Triple like, H. oh, you, this is what you listen to the most from Spotify this year. And like the fifth <laughs> thing was WWE theme song. <laughs> that's that's, that's definitely like my workout shit. I'll be running and I'll Stone play Cone? the Goldberg theme song. Like, ah. yeah, I'm this motherfucker. Yeah. Did you play Stone Cold? Oh, yeah. Da-da, da-da, da-da. yeah da-da. You already know. Da-da, da-da, da-da. Da-da. Dude, that was like uh, iconic, guys. That, that was man. iconic. Remember when fucking uh, Stone Cold Disturbed Cold. Disturbed came out and they started doing the fucking Stone Cold fucking yeah, theme music? Theme yeah, all songs and shit. Yeah. This, dude, Stone Cold, by far, my favorite wrestler, pro wrestler. <laughs> there it is, is dude. Uh, it's time to chug, bitches. No. Oh, shit. No. Smash a couple Coors on my face. Fuck yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> I tried no. that once as a kid, and I never have done it since. You gotta, I was like, he made take this. Two, two well spelt bottles. <laughs> like, fuck, that hurt. That Dude, hurt. See. Oh, and by the way, we're going to talk about Stone Cold. Shout out to uh, El Segundo Brewing. Hell yeah. Uh, that skull. Broken uh, Skull. Broken IPA. Skull, yep. Fuck yeah. Hey, let's do it. Good stuff. Hell yeah, dude. Broken All right, skull. so Brandon, you gotta oh, sorry. tell us what you brought out again. What, what did what did you sneak in on us oh, here sorry. at the oh, end? A little sneaky stuff. Little, pull a little sneaky. Oh, so we did a little sneak, <laughs> and uh, actually, Jimmy, what, what year is this? Oh, uh, this is twenty twenty. So two thousand twenty uh, version of fundamental observation. So from FO's number six. Bottle logic right. brewing oh, in Anaheim. Oh my god, we talked about that earlier. No, we did. Yeah. Of, like, so, like seriously, like a the staple. fundamental observations. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the vanilla one. I the, think you yeah. still have some here, actually. Yeah, last we do. La- we have last some bottles, year, yeah. last some year, bottles. I think I took five yeah, bottles of them. Twenty nineteen up to the cabin. Yeah, dude, it was so good. I remember passing around the cabin and. Yeah, it was fucking snowing outside. I mean, it was like the perfect beer for stout season. Dude, oh, I yeah. love the FO. FO is the the series is never the same. No, it's never the same. I mean, it starts off the same, but just never ends up the same. I love that barrel aged 
Yeah. You never know what Imperial you're going to get. Imperial Stout yep. with vanilla. And so, it, it is a staple. We're going to a shout out to stout. Jason Segrist. He, uh, he loves yeah. Bottle Logic, and he orders it here from the Craft Lounge, and he's all the way in Wisconsin, so we have to awesome. figure out a way to get it to him, not through Jimmy, because Jimmy does it on the up and up here. That's right. <laughs> so yes. Unless I get uh, some of that Wisconsin cheese. Right? Hell yeah, boy. Some so, curds. So uh, Jason, uh, <laughs> uh, the, curds. the FO curds. is on tap at the Craft Lounge. So fly out to Southern California, right? Yeah, Jason. And uh, you can he'll, – he'll – uh, Get you a but you got to wait till the 26th, dude, because I can't pour beer until the 26th. Got to wait for this three-week lockdown to end. <laughs> three-week lockdown. Right when I go on vacation, what the hell kind of shit is that? That's bullshit, right? Mm. No, don't get me started. Yeah, it's, like, it's all good. But we're drinking some FO to, to end the night here, the Stout Share. We've literally coming up on two share. hours, guys. Two-hour fucking podcast, dude. Boom. This Smashing is it. Him. If you're this still is... listening to us, I'm sorry. Smash I'm baby. so fucking so, sorry. Yeah, I'm two, sorry. <laughs> two hours of a stout share. Our longest episode was two and a half hours with King's Brewing. Shout out to Jeremiah. Nice. Woo, we love Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Cheers, um, kicking ass, taking names. So here's another one. This will get you through both commutes, an hour to work and an hour back home. Don't forget, so. we still have time for the, the King's Cup. Yeah, we got to we gotta watch Brandon drink this stuff. <laughs> hey, ha, ho, hey. Are you down? Are you ready? I know he's our clapping. I thought we were starting to dance. Dude. I'm like, hey, oh, oh, hey, 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 oh, hey, 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 hey. Yo, am I down? Are you kidding me? Are you down? There with the it get is. Down? Wait, hold on. What, yeah, what, what, kind down. Down. what kind of music? What kind of music do we need? Yeah, yeah, play, <laughs> there play it is, the dude. Stone Cold right there. Get down with the dick. <laughs> can, can I get one more cup? You want sit down oh, with the sickness? Ah. Yeah, dude, because that's the yeah, fucking Stone Cold version. That's what's about to go in. Oh, you want Stone Cold version of down with the dick. All right. What band but was do that? The, that was um, Disturbed. Disturbed. But do the fucking uh, Mike Tyson version. Get down with the thickness. <laughs> come on, come down with <laughs> the thickness. <laughs> get down with the thickness. Yeah, my cock up. Get down with the thickness. I thought you said getting down with the thickness. I was like, what the hell are we talking about here? <laughs> sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, um, up. Mike, if you're listening, I didn't say shit. <laughs> you know, you still I got it, I saw what right? you did to Roy Jones. I didn't say shit. He still got it. He still got it, dude. <laughs> fuck, man, man, fuck that, dude. All right. Uh, I'm going to get this going for you, Brandon. Get you all pumped up and ready for this mix of every single stout that we've tried this evening. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Is that the how, is that a Prince Cup? Wait, wait. We didn't try the FO yet. We, we didn't. Yeah, we haven't talked about the FO yet. Come, come on. on, dude. Don't try to premature right, well, craculation. No, it was good. <laughs> shit, oh, shit. Never mind. Josh fucking finished this shit, dude. Yeah, no, it was good. It was he good. finished that shit. Josh doesn't play when it comes yeah, to dude. Oh, dude. Whatever was left, he put in his hair and combed his hair with this shit. <laughs> All right, you ready? He's, he's going to smell like bourbon barrel uh, vanilla style. I think I'm hitting my second win here, guys, man. So oh, mine. he's breaking his second win. Dude, will you shotgun with me at the end of this? Let's, Let's do it. Oh, shit. Right. Let's get that on. Like, we'll get that on tape. We're going to oh, do yeah. some integrated lightest ones. Let's do it. Dear lady at home, I am not shotgunning shit. You did not hear Eli for his say he was shotgunning anything. All, all of a sudden, Just he turns so into Lionel know. Richie. All of a sudden, he's Lionel Richie. Lady, I ain't shotgunning shit. Straight up. That's right. I'm going, sorry. You did I hear you were shotgunning am, what? But I ain't shotgunning shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Stone Cold, oh. baby. <laughs> He's getting all like pumped up right now. I guess everybody else is getting their second win. Oh shit, dude! I'm gonna shotgun this fucking liquid death. Yeah, get this on tape. <laughs> He's asleep now. Yeah, I fell asleep. Are you taking a video? Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm dying. I think you're taking a picture. <laughs> It was a video. He thought it was taking a picture. All right. Where's the Prince Cup? Where's the Prince Cup? Prince Cup. Jimmy wants to get down on this. I'm going to get down with a sickness. What? All right. Are we chugging this? Are we chugging no, this? No, 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 no. no. no, no. We're, we're going to talk about it. Okay, no. Put some in my cup. Put we're some gonna... in my cup. I got to try it out. I think okay. y- y'all need a little bit, a little nub. Oh, dude, yeah, fucking the beer every... dad has his own little fucking cuvee yeah, needs of, a of darkness sneaky going on. son of a mother. A little cuvee of darkness. This shit smells so funky. <laughs> like, holy shit. I, I was gonna That's say, his armpit, dude. That's his armpit. Nah, oh, dude, my God. God. Tell me what it, you're drinking. It's actually picked up wild yeast from this place. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, is, is the crop is this what I think it is? Like, it literally has picked up wild yeast from this room. Seriously? No, but honestly, 
That is really good. Yeah? The uh, banana the banana one and the marshmallow Ooh. one really shine through in that. Yeah, I'm getting like that's coffee. That's really good. On banana and marshmallow? So it's like a, on the uh, a cream pie? Yeah, that, yeah that's really good. All right, here we go. I'm that poured right. so good. It smells horrendous, but it's poor. It's oh, oh, it smells horrible. Oh, are you talking about oh, the, 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 the wild, yeah, the wild, the wild one? Yeah. 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 For me, the coffee is like the one that's coming through. So let's that's bounce nice. back. Let's, let's bounce back to FO, though. So... Have you ever had a FO before? Mm-mm. No? No, that was my first. Did you ever watch yeah, Gladi- Gladiator movies? Get a cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this one. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's got hey, one. do you ever watch uh, Gladiator oh, yeah. movies? Okay. Oh, you like yeah. oysters or clams? <laughs> Both. You ever notice when Sparky <laughs> fucking licks himself? <laughs> That's good. Dude, good. it's good. Yeah. Vanilla. Um, Oh, are we doing this? Are we doing this? Are we doing this? Yeah. I'm still on FO, dude. I'm, like, oh, the okay. FO, dude. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Hang on. okay. okay. We're getting ahead of Justin, ourselves here. Justin, when I drink this, can you play uh, Down with the Sickness by Disturbed? Sure. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, wow. I got half of it, though. I feel like there's so much, so much Swedish chef on this show that we're getting sued by Sesame Street. <laughs> I hope not. They're on the fucking Muppets. Oh, Muppets. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> Sesame Street better stay in the lane. Yeah, stay in your lane. Yeah, stay in your lane. We ain't Sesame doing Street. no fucking, fucking Big Bird shit. Bird there he goes. There he goes. Oh, Here shit. he goes. Look at him. Here he goes. He, I have Brando, half, he's I got have, the. I do have half of it. Brandon, Jimmy's got the cuvee. Dude, I would Josh not, has got dude, look some. at the color, dude. It's like red almost, dude. Yeah. Oh shit! I think it, this might be <laughs> fucking Satan's fucking Bowels. ball sack juice. <laughs> All right, boys, I'm gonna I'm gonna drink this when he does the. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Are you gonna chug it? No. Oh, dude. Oh, you right. should. There he goes. Okay, okay. Woo! All right, let's see what we got here. Dude, that, that was amazingly smooth. Wow, that was amazingly smooth. That's actually smooth. really good. <laughs> That's really good. That's amazingly smooth. I get a lot of the fucking spice I get though. A from lot that of fucking, cinnamon. Yes, from the fucking. Yeah. So of all the flavors, other all the other flavors half. that are in there, the one that stands out the cinnamon. most is that other half, the yeah. cinnamon and the it comes spices. Through. Oh, dude, the co- I'm actually yeah, getting the coffee from uh, Zool. Zool. Yeah, Zool. I'm getting the coffee from Zool here. That's a crazy mix. Absolutely and crazy. Probably, I'm sure I'm getting a Zool's little Zool's the coffee. gatekeeper, by the way. I'm probably sure I'm getting Zool is the gatekeeper. Too. Zool's the gatekeeper. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. getting the coffee off of the Zool. So that's uh, Sigourney yeah, Weaver. Yes. Yeah. She kept the gate. She was good looking back oh, then. Oh, dude. Sigourney yeah. Weaver's bad, dude. Oh, yeah. Alien. Fuck yeah. Ghostbusters. Is that, oh, yeah. is that Rick Moran? Totally Alien's top. Oh, Rick Moran. No, Sigourney Weaver. No, yeah, no. He was the key master. Yeah, yeah. The cat that was But what was his name in that one, though? Lewis. No, the demon name of it. Baby back, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. Did he have one? Yeah, because I am Zool. I'm the key master. I am Zool, the gay master. I am blah, blah, the key master. I thought Zool, I thought Zool was like the chick that became the mel- melding of the two. No, that was like Gozer. Great, that was oh, Gozer. Gozer the Gozerian. Gozer, right. Yeah. She was in the bubble wrap. Gozer. She was in the bubble wrap. Yeah. That was or like uh, Billy Lucas. Idol in lingerie. I know, dude, but she was like <laughs> something like strangely <laughs> fucking hot about her, though, dude. <laughs> Jimmy's like, give me a red-headed chick with a flat top and red eyes. Nah, dude, give White me laundry. fucking... Nah, dude. <laughs> what? Yeah. Hey, I mean... Yeah. Hey, after, I was going to say... Can someone look up his name, dude? So, <laughs> How many say, stouts do you think we've say, had we, tonight? We, we, had enough stuff. <laughs> we got enough tonight to make... Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, just so you guys know, um, Beer Dad has never tried Mortalis or Raw Brewing tonight, so I left him with Dole Whipped and a Strawberry Campfire something oh or other. Oh my god, I'm excited so we're about gonna that. we're going to do a pour of both of those. Absolutely. Let's hope Rick, we call let's it Rick Rannis, dude. What's his name? Vince Clortho. Vince Clortho, dude. Exactly. Remember? Vince Clortho, the key master. Yes, because remember when Egon oh, was talking to him? Okay, Vince. Shot, okay. Yes, yes, have some. That's right. Yes, have some. Yeah. Yes, have some. All yeah, right. they have some. Is this the, is this the shotgun to end the evening? Yeah. Yes. Are you really going to shotgun it? Like old school shotgun? Is it frog's ass watertight? <laughs> should this be on the recorded episode? Yes, it should. Yeah, it should. Yeah. Yeah. Josh, when's the We're last time you shotgunned a beer? He said, what time is it? Right. Ten, <laughs> ten, what time is it? Ten minutes ago. Oh, for me? 
I did Actually, one I like three seconds ago. Fuck me. I think, <laughs> no, I was just thinking, like, when the fuck was the last time we shot gun a beer? Shotgun, baby. Oh, so uh, Brandon, Townsend Kettles, has now brought out his keys. He's famous keys. The famous keys of puncture. All right. I'm probably going to make a mess here. So yeah, me... slide a cheek over. Myself and Josh are going to uh, shotgun some Ennegrin, uh, the lightest one. Mm-hmm. Shout mm-hmm. out to Ennegrin. Shout out. Seriously, mm-hmm. one of my favorite breweries. Yeah. Thank you, guys. So yeah, you, thank you for what you do. I, we, we don't it's abuse your uh, beer lightly. We we love it. Yeah, yeah no, it, dude. This beer is stout fantastic. season. Stout oh, season ending on the lightest one. Oh, shit. Josh just brought out a fucking twist beer of some sort. Of fucking nice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hey, there's a like a an he look like fucking like here. West Side Story right now, dude. Look, he just he's starting to dance as he does it. Crack it open, come on, let's do this. Oh, he's going it. Oh, they're doing it. Here they This is happening. Oh my god, this is fucking happening. Josh is shotgunning. We got Josh over here. Shotgun, and I am in with the fucking puke range. It's ladies over here, like this motherfucker. Oh, there's Brandon. Brandon just he has just opened up his hole. Brandon has just opened his hole up. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh, Here we go. Shit. Are you guys ready? Sound? All the sound creeps out there. Ready? One, two. Let's go. Oh, there it goes. And <laughs> done. Wow. <laughs> done. I like it. And that was after the stout oh. QB. Your Uh-oh. ass is passing. I am within. <laughs> <fucking piss myself. laughs> You're you taking a fat nap. Josh is done. All right, well. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, thank you shit. for joining us on the Beer Dad and Brew Podcast. Stout season is definitely in effect. We're all warm now after all these fucking <laughs> high ABV beers. <laughs> and uh, and apparently these two shotgunning beers like it's freaking <laughs> college again. But uh, yeah, it's been a great episode. Uh, cheers, everybody. Again, go out and support local, support small business, yeah. support your craft breweries. Uh, <laughs> cheers, everybody. Cheers, motherfucker. Cheers. <laughs> they also practice by drinking the urine of a name? ram. The, the what? They drink ram's piss. Because of the pH balance? No, because if you can drink ram's piss, fuck, you can drink almost anything. <laughs> she said fuck. Oh, what is the malt and liquor? What gets you drunk or drinker? What comes in bottles or in cans? Beer. Can't get enough of it. Beer. How we really love it. Beer. Makes me think I'm a man. Beer. I can kiss and hug it. Beer. But I'd rather chug it. Beer. Got my belly out to here. Beer. I cannot refuse it. Beer. I could really use it. Beer. 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 I can't remember how much I have had. I drank a 12-pack with my dad. <laughs>